debate, uncut and after show. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel or you've not done so already, then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button if you'd like to become a Nathan Oakley 1980 channel member and keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. If you would like to support the channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they premiere, and there's also a Ko-Fi, Patreon, Crypto and Thanks button in the info box below the video. Speaking of Patreons, I'm going to do a quick shout out to all of you who do support me on Patreon. So, a massive shout of thanks and appreciation to Survive the Spin, FE Patriot, Steve on the level, Thomas van der Zander, Can of Bear, Gary Hughes, Measured Flat, Chris Wouters, Amish Battle Merch, Sensual Goat, Mitch Kennedy, Rod, the name's Burley, Twad Wazzle, Jason Hornsby, Christoph Fournier, Flat Earth Travolta, J Mels 24, Yu Yinamento, Iron 26, Endless, Gold McKinnon, Retro Bill, Level Plain Poem, Michael Kahn, John Kays, Patrick Gunnels, Banter, Mel B. Styles, Harry Blade, Mobile Max 777, Rob W., Del West Watson, Unbelievable Productions, Blue Ridge Ranger, Abraham Ahmed, Skeptic 936, Texas Mike, Chow Young Cat, David Wayne Foster, and Dank. So another massive thank you to all of you for supporting me on Patreon. Now I will hand across to whoever is in Discord and Google so you can enjoy their dulcet tones. Well, I set up for today's live show. What's the point of that? Sexton. Yeah, someone said how a sexton works. In the yeah, sexton. So when you have a sextant, yeah, you have a horizon mirror. So if it, there's two mirrors in it, as you can see in the diagram. Mirror. What you're right. doing is you're first sighting the horizon, which is a horizontal line where the sky appears to meet the Earth. You're then sighting a star or a celestial body where you know the ground location of. And then you're measuring the degrees to that star. So the first thing you need to do is adjust your height of eye down to sea level so that the Earth is a horizontal reference plane out to the celestial body. Mm -hmm ground position yeah be creating a, a triangle i agree at the ground position and this is why the well, stars tangential um, have a tangential relationship to the observer right distance and height um so do you guys have one of these Brother, no, it's not a question of if we have one. I mean, it doesn't matter what, if we have one or not. It's a question of if we understand the operating principle of the tool. Do you understand the operating principle of the tool that AJ should just put the time to explain to you? Yeah, I got it. Um, I asked because um, if you had one of these, um, you could calculate the angle to the sun and then some, with some, you know, very simple um, uh trigonometry you just figure out how high the sun is no you can't because all of these celestial bodies as Kilden just stated are in an apparent location we don't know that that's the actual location yeah we're just seeing the apparent location so you're not going to obtain it right? exactly it's just so it's, oh i see nathan opus in the chat and uh, just as matrix is uh aligned to me prior when you're trying to figure out your location out at uh, out at the ocean, you use your sextant. You look at three different celestial bodies. You draw your radius around those three celestial bodies to triangulate your location. And where those three circles intersect would be your location. Once you establish your location out at sea, you're then able to start doing your calculations using trigonometry, sine, cosine, tangent, Sakatoa, in order to figure out how long you'll be at sea for, how long it's going to take you to get to your places. You actually just... Well, I don't think... Um, are, you talking about, are you talking about, like, celestial navigation? You actually use yes. principles of trigonometry. You I don't, don't think you use triangulation in celestial navigation, bro. Uh, I don't okay. think you use I'm trigonometry. About I'm about to clarify. You create so, circles of equal altitude okay. based off your angle measurements. That you've taken with the earth as a horizontal reference plane okay you, you don't create a 90 at the gp ground position something you don't have on a sphere 
Uh, hi Nathan, how are you? Can I clarify something? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so you don't use actual trigonometry, you use principles of it because the elevation angles, you're not finding the height of the star. You're using uh, elevation angles to find a linear distance. So you're using a right angle triangle, but you're not finding the height of the star like you would normally use elevation angles to find the height of something like a mountain. So it's the principles of it. It's not. Well, what so, if I, okay. So what, um, yeah, you would just, okay, use, you would use the celestial bodies like they're uh, in a certain position. Or you could either say that they're an infinite distance away or they're all the same distance away. But hold on a second there, Flat C. So why are there degrees? Why is there a degree marker on the inside angle of the sex or the apologize, the degrees marked on the inside of the sextant? Oh, because uh those uh stars will always be at that same angle, no matter what elevation you're at. So uh, it doesn't, they, the anomaly of the sky or the celestial bodies in the sky, they act like they're either all an infinite distance away, or you could say they're all the same distance away. So you use them like you're not trying to find the height of them. You use the angle to them to find a linear distance. Yeah, but that interior angle is used within sine, cosine, tangent, it being a tangent relationship. So you get that interior angle, which is the tangential number, which then gives you a reflection of the opposite adjacent line segment up to that body. And then the adjacent, which is the baseline of that uh, line segment um, along the, uh, the line that you're observing through the, the sextant, right? That line out to the horizon line. So I thought with all of that considered, that would give you your uh, your equation. Go ahead. So I'm saying you're that talking you're... about for height, Kevin. Yeah. So I'm saying that you're not using elevation angle measurements like you would normally use. You're not using trigonometry at its fullest extent. You're using principles of it. Fair enough. I thank you. Thanks so much. Right. Um, right. Um, that's what I was wondering. So thank you for um, clarifying that. But to my point, the, the point of the topic is, look, you can, using what I brought up earlier was, you can use a section, you know, the GP, right? You can make a right triangle, you can get the height, right? But, that, but no. what I want to know is... No, what, it's like you've just ignored it. Who's, who's talking? Gee. Why have right, you, why right. you just that's ignored flat I'm getting to that, I'm getting to that. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So when no. I brought that up... You hold on, test, well, well, back it up, you... Yeah. The first thing you said is we're going to obtain the height, yeah? We're not obtaining yeah. any height. You just completely ignored what Flat C says. Yeah, I'm, no. Completely ignored Yeah, I'm, dude, I know you said that already. That's what I was going to say, right? So after I said that, you guys said um, that's not the actual height. That's just the apparent height, right? No, so, nobody said that. Uh, my question no, is, nobody said that. Didn't you guys say that that's no. the apparent height? No. Do you want to stop or, yammering or, while we correct you on what you said that was wrong? Or do you want to just keep going? Nobody said you could get the height. Nobody said you were doing trig. Platzi just broke it down specifically it's not trig it's celestial navigation nobody's trying to get the height it's not useful to you no 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 no. we were talking about this before the celestial navigation topic uh we were talking about sextants right and so i brought up that if you had a sextant then you could get the angle of elevation of the sun right that's now he's ignoring me you could get the nobody's getting the height like you said two minutes ago that's wrong. Nobody's doing trig. It's celestial navigation. You're trying to find the GP so you can draw a circle of equal elevation. You're not trying to find the height of the star. That's what you just said. I'm about to correct you, point out that you ignored Flatsy, and now you're just saying it again. It's like you're ignoring me now. Nobody needs the height <laughs> of the... It's like he just doesn't want to listen to it. Say it again. Nobody needs the height of the star... Like Hugh just said, he's just wrong. He summarized something incorrectly. That makes me assume he's a globe believer because he's wrong. 
and he won't accept it. He's not acknowledging it. He's ignored me twice. He's now talking while I'm pointing out how freaking wrong he is. So, of course, he's a globe believer. He's talking straight through the middle of me, pointing out for the third time that he's ignored everybody that has just spoken to him completely. Hugh, you stupid man, we don't need the height. Are you going to acknowledge me, you stupid man? You ignored Flatsy, you're not going to ignore me. Dum dum, we don't need the height. You said it twice, I corrected I you four it. times. Acknowledge me. Dum dum, yes, you did, I'm recording this. You. Don't lie. Why is he now lying to me? Two people corrected you. Both of us heard that you said you need the height of the star. That's what you said. Now you're ignoring it and lying about it. Did I? Yes. Yeah, let's ask the other people. Yes, you did. did I say the word? Yes, you, you did. Yes. Yeah. You, you're going to keep talking. So you ask about something that I've had to correct you. Flatsy's corrected you. I think someone else, AJ's corrected you. Now you're asking, did I say that? Why do you think we're having to correct you, stupid man? Did you say it? Yes, you did. You were wrong. Now you're going to acknowledge how stupid and wrong you were, Hugh, as we're about to drag this out. So you said it and you were wrong. Can you acknowledge uh, that, please, rather than chanting through the end of my request? I'll try a second time. Hugh, you yeah. were wrong. Can you now admit so, that you were... Are you yeah, just going to I'm chant through me asking you to admit that you were wrong? You're just going to yeah, chant through me, you little bitch. You're talking while I'm talking, you little bitch. Now the server mods removed you, jo uh, Hugh, because you're a prick. Because I'm having to raise my voice while I ask you to concede that which you put into this discussion, having ignored Flatsy completely. Yes, you did say it. Yes, you were wrong. You're a demonstrable moron who can't shut up when you're asked to concede something you said that was wrong. Now you're having to be removed, Hugh. Because you wouldn't shut up while I asked you for the fifth time if you could concede that which you put in the discussion that was wrong. No, not going to get Hugh's Rejected concession, you. are we? Just going to get him waffling through my sixth attempt. You were wrong, Hugh. Can you admit that? Um, yeah, I was wrong. Um, now shut oh, up. Look. Then shut up. You don't have a place at this table. Um, you're a dumbass. You don't know what you're talking about. You're getting things wrong. Now shut up. That means stop talking. Now I don't want to hear from you, Hugh, because you're a dumbass. That means close your frigging mic of your own yeah. volition. Stop adding to this conversation. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a stupid, dumb, globe-believing idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about. Has to be corrected. And then goes, did I say that? Yeah, you did, dumbass. Now I'm telling you to shut up and never speak again. Idiots. Idiots that think they have a place at this table to discuss this subject when they don't know what they're talking about by their own admission. Did I say that? That stupid idiocy that was wrong? Yes, you did, Globe Believer. And rather than actually admitting it and then shutting up, sitting down, now you've got to be put on serving you by a, a group of mods that don't want to hear you anymore. Talking crap, spewing nonsense, being a Globe Believer in general. We don't like that. Idiocy. You idiot, Hugh Jass. You stupid man. I step away for five minutes and all hell kicked. What happened guys, was Flatsy night. calmly explained to him what celestial navigation was. He entirely ignored every word she said and then started talking about acquiring the height, something that's not part of the process. Brilliant. Well done, Hugh. Hello, Jedi. Hello, Nick. Well done, Flatsy. While my wife walked in, I went, Man, she knows exactly what she is talking about. And my wife looked at me with a knowing smile and nodded. Then she walked out of the room. Hugh started talking and didn't acknowledge a single word she said. I was extremely impressed, Flatsy. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Mic check. Hey, Neil. Yeah, we got you. I see we're going already, huh? Just yeah. typical so, Nathan, that uh, want to just need to have a brief chat with you, if I can. Um, we've had issues with the stage this week. We can't open the stage. Um, we need one of politics moderators to do that for us, and we don't have someone to do that. So what we're going to do is try and run this room more like a staged event. So uh, if anyone interrupts, they're going to be muted straight away, and they'll be the next called up to speak. If anybody in here does want to speak to Nathan, let us know in the chat but it'll be a one-on-one -on -one conversation until Nathan's concluded 
with that one-on-one -on -one conversation, if that's all right with you, Nathan. Yeah, I mean, it'd be ideal if we were up on the stage, but that's fine for now. Hopefully it'll work for next week. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I, I'd only just found out, just try and send you a message about it anyway. Just to be in the, in the May I ask uh, one point of clarification? Yeah. So are we supposed to keep the dialogue strictly to properties of the plane? Yeah, it's pretty much always on the 24-7 Flat Earth channel, yeah. I just, yeah, didn't know if there was a slightly it's different... Yeah, it's still All Flat good. Earth debate. It's just Flat Earth debate. Is there something ancillary that you did want to discuss? We just asking in general. Well, not right now. No, I'm good. No, fair enough. Not that I should be answering. This isn't my. <laughs> I'm not running this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a short temper when people just just completely ignored it. It just annoys me on behalf of Flatsy in this instance, or whoever's talking, you're like, it's just, you've just had a really nice, concise explanation from someone who's obviously paid attention to how this works. Any acknowledgement? No. You need the height. Do you? No. Meanwhile, Earth measured flat. Was there acknowledgement for that? I mean, we're lucky to get the conversation to carry on in the same subject matter. I mean, yes, complete ignorance of what Flatsy had said let alone an acknowledgement that Earth was measured flat in the explanation. No, no acknowledgement like that. No, no, zero. The globe believers in here, we were just discussing how Earth was measured flat. Any concessions? Anybody change their mind about their stupid globe faith that they thought they were standing on after we described how it's measured flat? How many of you changed your mind about your stupid globe religion after that discussion? I'm sure there's yeah. plenty of globe believers in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm convinced. I just have an issue now. Is my well, can you be convinced and have an issue at the same time? Well, because now that my worldview changed, uh, some things have to adapt, right? I think that that makes sense. No, there's well, no adaptation I need needed. A... Everything, nothing changes. Everything was always measured flat. Sure. Okay, now I need to know how to relearn Selnav, I think, because I learned everything wrong. So I need Cell to know the right way now. No, nothing changes as Selnav that uses a Mercator projection. Uh, so if I draw circles of equal altitude on the Mercator, the circles would Then they'd be circles uh, of equal elevation, wouldn't they? Say that again? So you just started by asking me if I drew circles that are flat on a flat map. Yeah, what about it? Yes. Are they going to intersect where I am? With your cell nav. That's what cell nav uses, doesn't it? Uh, no. People don't draw circles on the Mercator. Is that, is that how you think it works? You can draw circles of equal elevation on the Mercator. Uh, you've ever seen anybody doing that? N no, I haven't actually witnessed anybody do it, no. What's yeah, your point? Yeah, me neither. I don't think that's a thing. That's not how selection location works. You use a map with a grid system on it and you can draw and find your location with respect to stars that you get angles to. It's no different on a Mercator as far as I'm aware. Why would it be different? Well, I tried that. That doesn't work. And nobody does that. You tried so it. I don't think uh, right. you're in the what right the, place. What then? were the three stars that you used to plot onto the Mercator? What were the times? Say that again? What were the three stars that you used when you attempted it? Uh, hang on a second. Maybe. But what's the name of the boat that you were on? I don't remember from the top of my head. Let me, let me what was the boat up. that you were on? What was the name of the boat? It wasn't my boat. Uh, it wasn't your boat. Why were you lost? No. Why were you Those lost? Those are my readings. But you said you did this, and it doesn't work on a Mercator. Yes. Okay, so presumably you've been lost at sea on a boat, and you needed to find your position on a map, right? You tried it. Wait, wait, do you have to be lost to do slash navigation? Right, what is the, sorry, excuse me, used. excuse me. What is the point of celestial navigation? Tell me. To fix a dead reckoning position in most cases. To find your position? Yeah. 
Sorry, did you, want, do you want to just repeat your question about, lost. sorry, do you have to be lost? Do you want to just ask me again based on what you've just said? Sorry, so Let's just again? start again. So you were lost on a boat and you needed to do celestial navigation on a map. You did it on the Mercator and it didn't work. Is that correct? Am I wrong? Because it seems yes, like you're no. asking me why you'd be doing it if you would be lost, which is the sole purpose of this. No, it's not. Almost no, none of the times where people use sail nav is because they're lost. So you aren't telling me when you did this and got it wrong on a Mercator. That's what you started with. That's where we're at. You said you did it and you didn't get it to work on a Mercator. That's what you said. When? How? Describe it to me. Which stars did you use? Why were you lost at sea? Well, I tried several sets of readings, so let me pick just one as but an example. Which boat were you on? Why were you lost? Let's start there. Uh, as I already said, those aren't my readings, so I wasn't in any boat. So, so you did not do but this? You know so you stars. didn't do this? You said you did it? You lied? I did. Sorry, you just said just yeah, they weren't readings. your readings. So you didn't... Why is that relevant? Do you want to just stop chatting through me while I'm trying to correct your lie? You said, and I quote, I did it, it didn't work on a Mercator when I did it. That's what you told me. Now you're saying they're not my readings. So let's just get that clear. You didn't do this, did you? Yeah, what I said I did. Don't tell me what you said. I heard you. To no. see if that would... Don't tell me again. Don't yeah, change history, uh, Goebbels. Excuse me. You didn't do this. They're not your readings. You haven't done this, have you? You're lying, aren't you? Yeah, he is lying, Nathan. Just before we move forward, just to support. Can, can I just get him to say it? Here. Can I just get him to say it? Why yeah, did you lie yeah. about doing this? We're going to get an answer. Why did you lie? No, he's uh, deafened himself. So rather than admitting that he just lied like a shit that he is, he's just going to go on server deafen rather than concede that he lied through his back teeth to make himself seem more credible when saying I'm wrong about something. Oh, well, I didn't. I couldn't get it to work when I did it. When did you do it? What stars did you use? These aren't my readings. So you didn't fucking do it then, you lying shit globe-believing wanker. Fuck off. Waste that fucking well, time in your lies. Nothing I said imply I used my readings. Fuck off, you lying yeah, you, fuck. You, you fucking yourself, lying globe-believing bastard. You lied to me, the now fuck off. I did now I don't want to fucking me. talk to you. I don't want to fucking talk to you anymore, you lying shit. And for Bacon and everyone in Discord, in our chat, under charts from Celestial Navigation Series, Ocean Navigator, there are many types of map projections. Mercator, Poly, Conic, Lambert, Conformal, Conic, Geonomic, and even something called the Lexamuthal. The type of projection we use the most often in marine navigation is the Mercator. So if you've done this in person, Bacon, and you couldn't do it, I would say you were doing it wrong. He hasn't done it. He's a lying bastard who made it seem like he knew what he was talking about by lying about something he hadn't done. He's a lying fucker. It's just that simple. You've got to lie to be a globe believer. Well, I've said it does work with the Mercator projection. Well, I believe in a globe. But better tell everybody that it, the lying glurf's way of doing things wouldn't have made it work. It wouldn't have worked when I did it. No, you're just a lying shit. Do you hear me? How do my words taste, lying up, shit? Um... You're a lying shit. And Nathan, even though he's lying, he's still trying to skip past the point that he's measured an elevation angle using sea level, Muppet. Yeah, so to conclude, I mean, we had the waffle garbage bullshit from a globe believer where he lied about what he hasn't done. Meanwhile, we're measuring Earth flat. We're plotting out areas of equal elevation. That's circles of equal altitude. That's a flat Earth that we're describing, mapping, charting, using the angles for. What do we get from the globe believer? A lie about what he does at sea. Lying bastards. Got to lie to be a globe believer. That's a fact. It's just been demonstrated in the last five minutes. Lying glurf scum. Welcome to the room, Anglo Nazarene. You had uh, something you wanted to say? No, I was just saying good evening, gentlemen. How on earth are we? Very well. Good to have you. Good, good. On this flat earth, we're all fantastic. Absolutely.
zero cognitive dissonance over here. So, Anglo, why did you join the channel today? I always hop in here um, every now and again. Okay, why today? Just random. Uh, I saw I saw Nathan's shows going on, so I thought, why not hop in and uh, you know listen, my my fellow based British bastard. Encore. It's so funny how that doesn't come in with any uh, supposed glow proof, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to change my top as it's too, as it's nice and quiet. Back in a sec. They used to do with dip correction. Remember, they used to skip past the fact that they measured an elevation at elevation angle. I'll argue about dip correction when they'd already measured an elevation angle using a flat in baseline of sea level. So they've already confirmed they're using the sea level for the elevation angle. But wanted to skip past that fact to talk about dip correction. Now they've taken elevation angles uh, using sea level and saying it doesn't work on the map they're using, but you've just already um, obtained an elevation angle from sea level. Proving you live on a flat earth. Cuckoo. It don't work on their globe. <laughs> Can't get an elevation angle measurement from a globe. Oh dear. So Nathan, I missed that. Who was lying? I don't know, I wasn't quite... I was literally just finishing off setting up, so I couldn't exactly see who I was talking to. Initially, it was huge ass. It was bacon, well, What did they lie oh, about? bacon. Uh, we know bacon's a lying shit, don't we? Yeah, he's claiming a win in the chat. Of course he is. Well, win. Oh, AJ. Sorry, AJ. He's deafened himself. He's shown that he doesn't want to take part in the conversation. The rules dictate that he should be removed. Disconnect him, dude. He's not going to take part. He's, he's willfully putting his fingers in his ears. He can go away. Yeah, we dealt with bacon loads of times. He's out of the room. We just, yeah, he's he's just out out the room. We just need to text to press him. Sorry. For those that don't know, if you willfully put your fingers in your ears and choose not to participate in conversation, you will be removed from the room. It's childish, and we don't need that stupid behaviour in here. So please choose wisely and enjoy your night, guys. Yeah, I don't want to have to shout and swear at you for lying. If you, if you make a mistake, that's fine. When you should start making stuff up, I've done it, it doesn't work. No, you haven't. No, it doesn't. What are you talking about? Every word that you just spewed about what you have done was a lie. Why? Well, I know why. To undermine what I just said. That's why. To undermine what Flatsy said in the case of Hugh. That's why. The only way you can win when we're measuring Earth flat, misrepresent us and lie about what you've done. Don't feel ashamed. No one's stepping up going, look, right, I, I know these globe-believing lying scum just lied to you in quick succession. But I'm not like that. I believe in a globe, and I'm not like that. I won't lie to you. These disgusting glurf scum that have lied to you twice in a row, that's not, they don't represent me. Who's stepping forward to say that? Because as it stands, that's just how globe Earth is being represented, by lying bastards. You're all happy with that, globe believers. They have to lie, don't they? They have to lie about level being level, horizontal being horizontal. You know, this, this is where we are now with the conversation. Shouldn't have to put up with it. Okay, so... Go on, Jedi. Sorry, gentlemen. It's okay. Uh, huge as I have unmuted you, and that's 15 minutes of quiet time. You've been listening to the conversation. I'll give you a chance to 
respond to what's been said, being as you've been listening for the last 15 minutes? Are you going to show some humility or what's going to happen? Um, yeah, no, what's been, top, what are you guys been talking about? Flatsy was telling you how we measure Earth flat and then you b babbled on about height incorrectly. Um, well, yeah, look, um, I don't want to talk about that, but just to clarify, I never said anything about the navigation. I never even brought that topic up. So just to clarify that, now we can move on from that if we could. Um, the, the bit that you waffled on about getting height when you said specifically about getting height. That bit, we should move on from how wrong no, you were, you mean. I haven't finished clarifying what you're suggesting we should move on from, and he's talking through me. What a shock. So what you're saying is, we'll move on from the garbage you inserted that was wrong, that you ignored when it was corrected four times. You want to move on from how wrong you were about celestial navigation when you said acquiring the height of the star. You want to move on from how wrong you were, Hugh, correct? The, re the reason why I was talking about that... Didn't ask for a reason. I didn't ask for an explanation. I asked to clarify that you want to move on from how wrong you, a globe believer, were about acquisition of height of stars, as you very specifically said that. It's now the second attempt to clarify what you want to move on from, and you're giving me reasons and justifications. I'm clarifying, third time. You want to move on from how wrong you were about the height of the star, do you, Hugh? Sure. Oh, I don't. See, I want to labour the fact that you had to insert that garbage that was wrong because it's part of a straw man argument that has no bearing on measuring Earth flat in celestial navigation. I don't want to move on from your insertion from this garbage because it's the only thing you've got to refute the fact that we measure Earth flat with elevation angles, as was put to you by Flatsy. So, no, I don't want to move on from your lie, your insertion of this garbage. It's what you, the globe believer, needed to do to straw man Flatsy. That's what you did. So no, I don't think we will move on from it. You were just wrong, Hugh. Why did you insert this garbage when you're now disclaiming that you don't know much about celestial navigation? Why did you insert something that was wrong? Just coincidentally, a straw man that glurfs use against celestial navigation measuring Earth flat. Why did you do that? Um, right, so Flatsy was correcting someone else. Didn't ask what Flatsy did. I asked why you inserted something that was wrong. Don't talk about Flatsy. You didn't want to address her argument. You inserted some garbage that was wrong that you now want to move on from. I'm asking why. Her, her, her argument... Stuttering much. Stuttering much. Just tell me why you lied and inserted that garbage that was wrong that you now want to move on and forget about. Tell me. Look, look what I was talking about had nothing to do with celestial navigation. You were talking about acquiring the height of the star. Now he's just lying to me. He was directly responding to Flatsy, who was specifically detailing what was done. He was directly responding to it with a straw man about heights of stars. So now he's lying. Now he's lying and yammering through me. What a shock. So when he uses the same exact lie, he starts talking through me and has to be muted by the server operators. Scumbag. You asked... You told me what you desired. I desire to move on from my garbage I lied about. Now I'm going to lie about knowing anything about celestial navigation. And then further to that, I'm going to say it wasn't to do with celestial navigation in spite of it being a direct response to Flatsy. Liar. So you're just going to continually lie then? Unless you can move on from your original lie, you'll just perpetually lie about what was happening to justify your lie that you want to move on from. No. I'll stay right where we are and point out to the audience that this globe believer has no response to measuring Earth flat. So what does he do instead? Pretends we're not talking about celestial navigation. That was his most recent lie. Oh, were we not? I listened to what Flatsy told you and what you responded with. It was very specifically about celestial navigation. And heights of stars, mm, that sounds kind of like celestial navigation in response. It just isn't. You just made that shit up because you have no response to measuring Earth flat. I've asked why you made that shit up. And you're telling me we weren't talking about celestial navigation? Yeah, we were. You're just a liar, Hugh. So now I need a new answer. Why would you lie to me about the subject I was paying very close attention to your response with regard to? Why are you lying about that now? Uh, am I muted? Okay. Um, Slatsy, if you could just please tell him how the conversation went. Uh, he joined later. So I recorded just, it. I don't want know. to hear about Flatsy. I haven't asked about Flatsy. I've asked about why he lied now about it being about celestial navigation. It was. I listened. So here's... Why did you lie? So Twice. here's the chronology of the conversation, right? Someone posted a GIF in the general chat about how a sextant works, right? 
Well, that's so that's celestial navigation. So he's just told me he didn't think he was talking about celestial navigation. Now his justification starts with a tool used in celestial. Go I don't want to talk to this guy anymore. If your justification, why I'm asking you, you'd lie about something that has no bearing on celestial navigation, is to start by explaining that you had a gif about a tool um, used in celestial navigation, and then start bloody rumpusing me. Of course. You're just a liar, Hugh. You're just a liar. I asked why you would suggest it hadn't got anything to do with celestial navigation. Your answer is to say you saw a gif about a sextant. That just makes you an outright, flat-out, scumbag, glurf liar. I don't want to talk to him anymore. He's just got nothing but lies. Awesome. 20 minutes, two lies. Well done, Globe. So, to conclude that barrage of shite from a globe-believing liar, Earth's measured flat with celestial navigation. The tool he saw as a GIF is a tool that measures a horizontal plane of reference and a line of sight to a light in the sky. That's what that tool does that he saw in the GIF. It measures Earth flat. That's what was very specifically detailed when Flatsy was dealing with him originally. Oh, well, I didn't think we were talking about celestial navigation. Liar. You all happy with your globe responses so far? All the globe believers in this panel? You think you're being well represented? So far, it just seems like you're all liars. People who believe in the globe are just liars. That's how it's come across so far. That's your representation thus far. Well, you're all happy with that, right, Globe Believers? Meanwhile, Earth's measured flat. Loads of people tell me they love the Friday show. They really like the discussion on the politics server. I get so many positive comments. However, this morning I had to schedule a stream to go out in advance of this show just to make up the numbers that I know this show won't get because it will be heavily censored. It won't reach anybody. It will be amongst the lowest viewed live streams of the week. There you go. Why is that? Because we're absolutely annihilating the globe position at its root and foundation. It's being destroyed here for globe believers to hear and witness. That can't reach lots of people, Flatsy, so it doesn't get advertised at all. Once the live stream finishes, if you go to my homepage and click on it, it won't load. You'll click on it and nothing will happen. So you can't even click on it. Even if you found it and tried to click on it, it will not load. Until 18 hours later when everyone's lost interest. Then it'll load. Do you think that's intentional by someone else? Come again? Was that Nate? Say again? Do you think that's intentional? Like an outside person's doing that? It's by degree of Congress. It's the AI. And, you know, TikTok does that too. I upload a, a video and... Like within five seconds, it says, oh, not uh, not eligible for the For You page. And then I'll appeal it. And then like f maybe three days later, they're like, okay, it, it's it's approved. But then they won't even put it on the FYP page. And then it only has like 12 views. When I used to have thousands of view like followers, like they didn't even see my video. It's like, dude, that, they, they know what they're doing. It's it's They know what they're doing. Yeah. If there's devastating information that... There's no way. It, just listen to the last conversation that took place. Flat Earther calmly explains how Earth's measured flat. Globe believer lies about what celestial navigation is and then denies that he thought he was talking about celestial navigation rather than conceding the very concise point that was put to him by Flatsy. That's what's just happened. Do you think normies need to hear this? No. We've won. That's the bottom line here. Anybody in this server that thinks the Earth's a globe, you've got another thing coming. If you talk to me in the today's session, you'll find out exactly how flat Earth is. There's no ifs, buts, or maybes anymore. We've got the measurements. You use them too for your globe. So that's it. It's the end of the argument. There wasn't really an argument to begin with. The globe inference came from flat Earth measurements. There's no ambiguity. Nothing's changed. It was always measured flat and still is.
Yeah, the reason why I popped up earlier is because someone said that you use trigonometry or um, triangulation. And I had to pop up then because I was like, no, actually, you use principal mm -hmm. trigonometry and you use elevation angles in a different way. You don't use it for the height of the star. You use it for the angle and the linear distance. No, I think you misheard me. I was saying that I was saying that we had a ninety degree triangle. We it had a ninety degree at the base under the star is what I was trying to say. Both correct. It wasn't you, AJ. It wasn't you that I was trying to like um give some clarification to. It was the Glober that we were talking to, Hugh. And it was also a flat earther that's a very good flat earther, Killian. Yeah, he was he, he was just needing some clarification also. So I was hearing it talked about from a flat earther to a globe earther uh, incorrectly. So I wanted to step in and maybe give some clarification too. And then Bacon stepped Why in with a red herring <laughs> suggesting that the map wouldn't work. Wait, what did you say, Nathan? Sorry. Then Bacon stepped in to throw another red herring in and suggest that the map, in that instance, the Mercator projection, wouldn't work. That's what he stepped in with. Again, sidelining oh, yeah, the, the flat earth measurements that you discussed that you wanted to bring clarity to. Yeah, with the circles of equal elevation on a Merc Mercator. I got you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, After you would, the yeah, elevation angle would already been acquired. Go on, AJ. Yeah, his direct statement was no. You cannot use a Mercator map in celestial navigation as it does not work. I know this because I have done it myself. Yeah, then I proceeded to ask him which stars he measured. And we very quickly found out he was lying. Um, this is Bacon's latest stick. Now that I think that the Earth is flat, how do I do celestial navigation? Because when I measure flat Earth, Angles on the Mercator map, it doesn't work. He, he doesn't realize angles he's using on a map. map. Is that what he said verbatim? Yeah. yeah you don't measure angles stick, on yeah. a map. What's he talking about? He's talking about when he plots his coordinates on the map to get the location of the ground position of the stars. He's not finding the correct ground position of the star because he wants to know what formula he needs to use now that isn't the Haversine formula. Does now that, that he to... understands the Earth is flat. He doesn't convert anything with the Haversine formula. He's already using a globe projection, which is flat. What's he talking about? You don't convert anything with Haversine when you're doing celestial navigation. If you want to transpose it into hell because you've got a globe belief, you can. You can justify that with parallel light rays. But then we're not measuring angles in hell, are we? That's how it would work for him in a globe. But clearly he doesn't understand this process if he's talking about Haversine conversion. And that's where he's going to go, or was a, would have wanted you to go. Well, we've to have a side conversion. Well, we do that yeah. to produce the globe, to then project it onto a tube, to then cut it down the middle and roll it out flat. So that comes long yes. before anything to do with celestial. He just doesn't know what he's talking about then. Yeah, I pointed this out to him the other day when he was trying to smuggle in his uh, globe model. So this is where he wanted you to go today. He's, he's got tactics, this man, Bacon. This is what he's doing at the moment. Tactics that start after we measure an angle off a flat Earth, and he talks about measuring an angle yes. off a map. We don't measure map angles yes. off maps. We measure them with respect to the surface we're standing on that we're trying to navigate. Earth's flat when we take the very first measurement. That's it. Game over. Oh, well, afterwards, we use it on this map and it doesn't work. I'll blame the fact that it's taken from a globe projection that came from original flat Earth measurements also, the same measurements of the stars, to project it onto a globe, to project it onto a tube, to roll it out flat, to then say it doesn't work. Well, don't put it on a globe and then project it out flat. Then you won't have any distortions. Oh, we don't have that. Oh, well, that's not my problem, isn't it? I'm not telling the world we're on a bleeding globe, am I? I was watching this video um, of, of this guy explaining, like, um, celestial navigation, how to do it, you know, like, just giving the rundown, how to use a sextant and stuff. And I took screenshots because every time he would, do something to get the angle to the stars or the celestial bodies. Everything about it was straight lines. 
of course, right? Because you're making angles uh, to all these things. <laughs> so, that, that, that's all it ever is, Apoc. Right. This is, what I, this is what I was trying to point out with Bacon today, and I knew this is where he was trying to go with Nathan. There's a, there's a, there's a piece of magic that happens as a sleight of hand. I'm trying to figure out exactly where it is, and I think I might have pinpointed it. So when we use terrestrial objects to gain running fo- fixes, if you heard me speak about running fixes, this is when you're going up a coastline, for example, and you're using objects along the coastline, measuring horizontal angles and elevation angles because you want to know the distance to them because you know the lo- height of the lighthouse, for example. When you're doing these running fixes, it's absolutely fine to use this method of gaining distances with um, trigonometry and um, just the use of triangles and angles. Now, all of a sudden, when Bacon jumps to using celestial objects, this method that works for thousands of miles up and down coastlines now doesn't work. Now you have to make corrections because you're on a, on a model. And I think this is where the magic takes place. The switch between, I don't know, using it practically, and then because we're on a ball, we have to correct and use formulas to correct for us being on a ball or more specifically some kind of map that is a projection of a ball and use some type of formula to correct for the angles that we've measured from a flat earth whether they be terrestrial objects or celestial objects some greetings good afternoon good afternoon good morning good afternoon Good afternoon. So after a really successful uh, visit yesterday, well, I'd say yesterday, last week to the politics server, unfortunately we can't get hold of uh, an official politics server mob to put us up on what they call the stage for uh, a slightly more organised version of what we typically do. But hopefully we'll be back to that, although we only started it, then did it once, and now we're not doing it again. So we've only done it a couple of times. But hopefully next week we'll get into the rhythm and routine of doing it in that way so that it's a lot more organised. But unfortunately for this week, we're just back to where we normally are in politics, which is just kind of a bit of a free-for-all, but with slightly more uh, on-the-ball mods. Not that they're not on-the-ball anyway, but you know what I mean? They're a bit more conscious of the fact that there's going to be interruptions when people get triggered. So there we go. So we're in the general populace in the peanut gallery of uh, politics today. Uh, hopefully, like I say, we'll return to the intended format next week. But in the meantime, is there anybody with any questions? Feel free. You're going to have to muscle your way in through the moderators i'm sure they've got a, an eye on it it's not quite as slick as having them actually raise their hand and ask a question but we'll see how you guys do it i don't know how you'll cope we'll see if not there's going to be a lot of protracted silences in this particular show uh, the one i got is interesting about how in the pre-show everyone's talking about slush on navigation and until like this is like one of the things i've noticed like as soon as a flat earth raised a topic Globalists will know nothing about it, and instantly they become an expert in it. Prior to the 10th man bringing up celestial navigation, globalists thought celestial navigation was something they saw in Star Trek, where like you know Spock or whatever you know busted open the star charts and determined where the Enterprise was based on you know whatever positions these different stars were. And then all of a sudden, 10th man says, "Hey, look at the methods and practices used." And celestial navigation, it can only work on the flat Earth. And suddenly, every globalist is instantly an expert in a career, like a, a ship's navigator, is like a you know a six figure salary position. And they're acting like like they've known how to do it the whole time. It's like you never even heard of it before a flat Earther said it. I mean, they, they will have heard of it because Quantum Narrator had covered it, but in his usual high intellect manner, you'd have to. Be paying attention rather than looking at the chat. Whereas when Tenth did it, it's not that he dumbed it down, it's just he dragged it out to such an extent that it sunk into a lot more people. But it was actually covered quite quite significantly prior to Tenth Man covering it in a lot of detail, admittedly. He was the first to focus on it, just to get the terminology right, because otherwise it sort of demeans QE having covered it in many a presentation prior to that, which he had. Just, I didn't oh yeah, notice. for sure. I was thinking of the, like the, the wildfire event. It was a, people have been talking about this since the beginning of time. You know, like all all sorts of people have met, you know referenced. You know, this is where I think given Tesman the credit where he like basically brought it forefront. Yes, you know, like he really got the globalists to start uh, questioning, and then rather than using the information and question their ideas and models, they just kind of waved a magic wand and instantly became an expert in it. 
and then decided that flat earthers can't do celestial navigation. Right. When they never heard of it prior to being part of this conversation. Well, Tenth was very smart in the way he did it. So as he was educating us in it, which is literally what he was doing, he chose to only do that in pre-shows. So typically, the pre-show will go out to members and be 10 days late on a second channel that's less subscribed to, so 10,000 subscribers rather than 22, 23, or wherever many this channel's got. I forget, 26 it might be. Anyway, the point is that he would get less listeners, and he did that intentionally. So that by the time it was being discussed on the live show and argued about, everyone on the panel n knew about it, was very well versed by the time the discussion starts. So it kind of came across like you've just described to an audience, which is we start talking about celestial navigation. Actually, we'd been educated in it about 12 months prior in the pre-shows, you know, a little bit at a time by 10th man. And then when it's like here's celestial navigation, it proves Earth's flat. Then suddenly the ballers with no background, no, you know, 10th man there dripping in the information on a daily basis. Suddenly, as you put it, are experts. <laughs> You're like, okay, all right, fair enough. Earth is around, mate. Say again. Say again. Earth is around. Earth is round. Do you think that the Earth is flat? If that's how it's measured, are you not keeping up with the discussion? Also, round and flat are mutually aren't mutually exclusive. You can have a round and flat penny, round and flat LP, round and flat CD. Get it? I I understand that analogy. Cool. It's but not an analogy. Regardless, Earth's measured flat though, so for navigation specifically, in this instance. Navigation, for sure, I understand that. But you think the Earth is? sphere no obviously not <laughs> to make it a sphere you start with those measurements of angles off a of flat earth and then kepler can infer sphericity and orbital motions and all the rest of the mathematical extrapolations that come from those flat earth measurements so definitely earth's not a sphere you can no, we don't it. think it either we know it's not a sphere if you know how it's measured to to create the sphere you, you can't even infer or reify that it's a sphere because you understand it violates the base measurement that you started with to create the sphere with. So, do you think that the sun is a sphere? I don't know what the sun is. <laughs> it doesn't really have much to do with the, think... the ground, unless you're navigating with it. Do you think the moon is a sphere? I don't know what the moon <laughs> is either. I don't know. Again, if you're navigating with it, though, it's measured with respect to a flat Earth. But you know that the Have Earth is flat. Turkish prison? Hold on. <clears throat> Go ahead. How do you know if the Earth is flat if you don't know what the sun or the moon is? Sorry, how do I know I'm driving a Ford <laughs> Escort if you don't know what a Lexus is? Because we're driving a Ford Escort, because we're measuring Earth, the surface, flat. And I said to you three times in response to your questions about the sun and moon, if we're measuring those items for navigation, we're measuring them with respect to a flat plane. Anything else? Earth's measured for yeah, one more thing. Go ahead. Do you believe in planets? <laughs> Okay. Be careful, buddy, because you're asking people here if they believe something. We don't just blindly believe anything. <clears throat> I'm talking about does he believe in Mercury, Uranus, Saturn? So we believe yeah, there's, there's no belief involved, is there? There's, you're describing lights in the sky that we can see, aren't you? Why would I have to believe in anything? They're lights. Do you think they're real? Bear question. Sorry, I just answered you. Just repeat back what I just said to you in reply, please. We can see the lights in the sky. But why would I need to believe in anything? I can see them. So they're real in your eyes. Are you having a laugh? I see them. You've named them. I don't need to believe in anything. You do the wrong wording, 
Or do you think they're flat? Did I say that they were flat? <laughs> no, okay, do, do you appreciate that when you look at the stars, you only get a monocular uh, vision to them? Do you appreciate what that means? I appreciate that. What does that mean? Monocular vision yes. of the stars? Is that what you said? Yes. Do you appreciate we have a monocular vision to the stars and what that would mean? Well, I know that mono means one. Okay. So not binocular then. Monocular. As uh, opposed to binocular. Binocular, I'm assuming, means two. Because binocular has two so, eyes. Could you say I don't really know what you mean by what you're suggesting? Because you've said and suggested that you know what I mean by this. Because it's in direct response to your question, but you haven't clicked what my response means. So you could just say, I don't really know the connection between only having monocular vision and being asked if they are, quote, flat. You obviously don't see the connection, do you? Connection? That would be a no. Yeah, one eye through a telescope. One eye sees them up close. Only one. Do you think that one eye can give you depth perception? Binocular eyes give you depth perception. And we don't have that to the stars, do we? Just need a no. Just need, I'm answering your frigging question about them being flat. It's like pulling teeth. You just need to say, no, we don't have stereoscopic vision to them. We don't have binocular vision to them. Monocular only. I understand. Yes. Then I'll say, so flat then. <coughs> Hello? Are you listening so... to me? I'm responding to your question. Are they flat? Fact. Monocular. <coughs> flat. Not three-dimensional. Flat. Yes. Flat. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. You just don't seem to be acknowledging it. Meanwhile... So you believe that the Earth sorry, is Sorry, are you going to acknowledge me or ask me yet again what I bleed and believe? Acknowledge what I've just... I've answered your question. You haven't acknowledged me. I've taken my time with your dumbass that doesn't understand what monocular means and how it would reference your question about them being flat. You haven't acknowledged that yet. You're asking me a new question about another belief. You, sir, hold many beliefs about these lights. Yeah, you do. Now, what you are doing is projecting the fact that you have beliefs about these lights onto me. As you ask your stupid questions that are inane about whether or not it's flat, and I answer you, yes, monocular vision, you start asking a new question about a different belief, presumably projecting something else you have a belief about. You believe they're spherical. You have no evidence for that. None. Zero. Nada. But you're asking me about whether or not I believe they're spherical, three-dimensional, when we cannot perceive them in that way. We can't see them like that. We can only see them flat. Now, I'd like you to acknowledge that, given that you asked me about it, and I've taken my time to explain something that you clearly did not understand or comprehend. That would be monocular vision to the stars. Flat. Do you understand? I understand you. Do you have any other questions? Hopefully not about beliefs that I hold because you've got some beliefs about some lights in the sky. But it was lovely talking to you. It was lovely talking to you. Thank you for your questions about my beliefs that I don't hold and you do. Meanwhile, when we measure the celestial items to navigate with them, we measure with respect to a flat Earth. That's how all the maps and models were created. Earth's flat. Anybody else? Yeah. That, they were, that was quizzing me on my bleeding beliefs about three-dimensionality with to the stars that we don't have. Oh, well, if there's a conclusion, I don't mind taking that air out and going... Earth's measured flat, ladies and gentlemen, including but not limited to the use of angles of a flat Earth to create a sphere for a lot of you Muppets to believe in.
Yeah, that's right. Your sphere belief comes from flat Earth measurements. Isn't that shocking? Earth's measured flat for everyone. At night. Yeah. Well, I don't see myself as a Muppet, though. Say again, Nate? I, I, I don't see myself as a Muppet, though. Okay. How'd you get an elevation angle measurement from a curved surface? I'm not... I don't want to answer this. Sorry, you don't feel like a Muppet, but when I ask you how a globe will give you an elevation angle, you don't want to answer. That's because you're a Muppet who believes that you can acquire flat Earth elevation angle measurements from a curved surface that you believe you're standing on, making you a Muppet, Nate. If you don't feel like Whoa. one... If you don't feel like one... If you don't feel like one while I get interrupted, I'm telling you why you are a Muppet. Because you can't answer me when we fundamentally require elevation angles to navigate the world, map the world, chart the world, fly over the world. We need these elevation angles off a of flat Earth. But when I ask you how they come from a curved surface, you don't want to take part. That just makes you, hope it's clear now, a Muppet, Nate. Don't have to like that. It's a fact. <coughs> Meanwhile, we do get elevation angle measurements. We measure them with respect to a flat Earth. To this day, they've always been made that way. And I mean, people can believe that you can use curved surfaces that won't be utilised with elevation angles. They'll be like on screen for my audience now, used in hell, in the centre, on a plane, a flat plane, in hell that we're not measuring angles from. So when I say, how do you get a measurement from the curved surface? You don't, and you don't use them that way if you pretend you're in a globe. That's why you can't answer, Muppet. Hope that's clear, Nate. I'm just not an expert on it. I didn't ask if you were. I, I clarified why you're a Muppet to believe you're on a globe <coughs> after asking you if you could get an elevation angle from a curved surface. You can't. And you wouldn't use it on a curved surface anyway, even if you retain your globe belief and project these angles measured off a flat plane in hell. I just told you quite a few details about what makes you a Muppet. You said you didn't want to take part. What kind of Muppet behaviour is that? Do you have a, a degree in, in physics or... Sorry, why would you ask that? This that? isn't a physics subject. Celestial navigation is not physics. Define physics well, for me, sir. Don't question. Define physics for curious. me, please. What? Define um, physics first. for me. You're asking I, me if I've I got a degree in physics, physics, now you're yammering through my response. You've asked me a question, and, and you're still talking answer. straight through the top of my response. You asked me, sir, do I have a degree in physics? I said it's non sequitur. It's not related to the subject. This isn't a physics subject. It's celestial navigation. That's not physics. Then I asked you, while you yammered through me, to define physics. I asked the question first. Yeah, and I said it's a category error. You can dodge the question, but I asked... I didn't dodge the question, you dumbass. Muppet, globe-believing idiot who can't listen. Category error. Discussing celestial navigation, I must have got a degree in physics. Non sequitur. Category error. Third time. Repeat after me. Dumbass question. Category error. Not related to the subject being discussed. Dumbass. You. Clear? <laughs> Tell me I'm running from the question again, dumbass. <laughs> Dumbass! Non sequitur, category error, you stupid man! You want to tell me I'm dodging the question, you stupid idiot? Here, Nate, if you knew what physics were was, you wouldn't have to ask that question. Maybe That's you could define it for us, like I asked him, and then we got this. Define physics, you dumbass. That's a non sequitur. No, you <laughs> asked me if I got a physics degree! So when I ask you to define that, what you're asking if I have, you say it's non sequitur. That makes you a moron. You don't know what a non sequitur is. It's directly related to the specific word you used. How could it be it, non sequitur? And now he's yammering through me because he's getting embarrassed with how stupid he is. And now me, Nathan Oakley, is highlighting just how stupid this globe-believing Muppets question was. It was a category error, a non sequitur category error. And then when I point out that it's a category error and a non sequitur and ask him to define the word he asked me about, he tells me I'm using a non sequitur. Sounds like you're just repeating the coherent and concise rebuttal I gave you that you said I'd ignored and had run from. <laughs> and now you're yammerizing through my summary. 
What a shock. You're a Dumbo. <laughs> You're a globe-believing Dumbo. You're getting a strip torn off you by a flat earther for your dumbass question. Hope that's clear. It's Don't funny. Control. It's Don't funny because control. the law of identity for logic, you need to identify this first. <laughs> One more chance, Nate. You gonna answer the question? What? Why am I the one being asked? Because you asked me for age. got a physics degree. Now you're being asked to define what physics is, you stupid man. It's the fifth time. Yeah, Tell me it's, it's non sequitur again, you stupid Nate. idiot. Tell me that me asking you to define the word you asked me about is non sequitur, you stupid idiot. Go on. <laughs> Tell me it's non sequitur, Dumbo. Tell me it's non sequitur, you stupid man. Go anywhere with Nathan, so. Oh, hey, oh hey, you can't go anywhere. That's because I've destroyed you. I destroyed your stupid non sequitur question about physics that you can't define. Right. You destroyed me by not answering the question. You're right. Right. Do hey, I have hey, a physics hey, degree? You, define uh, what physics is. Nate, let me throw you a, a lifeline here. Okay, I'll, I'll, let me throw you a preserver. You're drowning. Say physics is an object moving through a medium. Just a very junior high-ish response, like day one. You know, this is your day one in class. And then you'll be able to continue the conversation. At least you'll know what you're talking about. You know what you're asking. I was just curious of any degree, really. Just anything. Give him any help. Right. He's this, a is, this is now turning into an ad hominem fallacy, isn't it? That's what's basically happening. Yeah, he wants to know what your education level is. Not relevant. It's an ad hominem right, fallacy. Nate, we're going to give you one more chance. You asked Nathan a question. He clearly answered it. It was non sequitur to the discussion of celestial navigation. You've now raised that question. It's been answered. So now you've been asked to clarify what is physics? Answer the question, or you're going to have to stay on mute. Probably going to have to mute me, though. So. Yeah, so you lost You lost badly. You asked a stupid question that was non no, to the, the discussion. Now you're yammering. You're saying you don't want to take part, but you do want to talk through me because you started saying no as I started responding and taking up the sword that I rightfully won, having chopped your head off with it. No, it was non sequitur to the measuring earth flat that we were discussing. Non sequitur to the angle in hell that we were discussing. This isn't physics, the study of the physical and natural world, something you couldn't define. Now, elevation angles aren't very natural. Shocking, isn't it? But that's not physics, so we wouldn't need a mm -hmm. physics to degree. And what is it? Is it just me, or is this Muppet that's just been annihilated and now his head removed feel like he needs to talk when he's just removed himself from the no, discussion? No, we've got someone else butting in. Sorry, Nathan. He that was not he me. He can be next. Yeah, that's, 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 that's why we, we would be better on a stage, but obviously for the audience's benefit today, we just couldn't arrange it in that manner. But there's going to be white knights that don't like their compadre's heads coming off that are going to talk while I summarise that he can't take part in the discussion. Because the discussion was about measuring Earth flat. He needed to turn it into an ad hominem fallacy about my education status, didn't he? So it's an ad hom. That's all it is. Yeah, we all tried right, to well. do the, the stage thing. It was just we had some staff turnovers and there was a little bit of a hiccup in the process. So um, we kind of dropped the ball and I hear you. We, we really wanted to get the stage going again. But it just seemed like it was just too much flux, too many moving pieces going on this week. To get it all the way to the goal line. That's all right. AJ already explained it. It's fine. It's just one of those things. Hopefully next week it'll be on track for doing it that way because it's a change. We did it initially. Then we did months of not doing it. Then I was like, can we go back to that? Then we did it that way the last time we came. Yeah, there's going to be a, a, a little bit of a hitch to get it back on track that way permanently, hopefully. Unacceptable. Uh, no, no. We're guests here. <laughs> <laughs> Huey. You'll have to take it up with politics moderators. I'm sorry. You see, he's... Huey's banned. <laughs> Go ahead. Whoever that is. I said Huey is banned anyway. <laughs> it's actually not yeah, anymore. Huey's I think we're banned. Politics moderators. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we'll get it sorted. But for the now, this is it. It's fine. White knighting's just going to have to be the case. Anyway, just well, to conclude no, again. I mean. Ultimately, that was a big fat non sequitur as much as we've come to the conclusion with the guy that was an idiot asking a question out of context to add on me. Earth was being discussed as being measured flat. We were explaining how the globe came from those flat Earth measurements and that if you're going to infer an angle that can't come from a curve works somehow with the globe, it'll be working in hell on a flat plane in hell in the middle of the globe. That's what we were discussing before we had a non sequitur about my education status. Just so we're clear, we're talking about Earth being measured flat for the globe to exist. 
as I've been discussing it now, there's been lots of diagrams about the flat plane inside hell with Earth as a glorified protractor, with a flat plane being measured to an angle to this star on screen for my audience. Just so we're back on track and not worried about my education status after he tried to add on me. Now we're back on track. Earth's measured flat. Yep. And next up is Lava Girl, who has been the White Knight and been muted. I don't appreciate you calling me on that night when I wasn't even going to... Like, I wasn't even going to add to the conversation you were having with the other guy. I don't appreciate that at all. No, you're well, just cheerleading. Interjecting into the conversation. No, no, no. The conversation is over. I was going to ask a simple question. Okay, feel free. Feel free. Go ahead. Like, like, I think the conversation ended when he said that I would like to reply to your question. I wasn't there to write that, just so you understand. Do you have a question, though? Yeah, I sure do. I sure do. Awesome. Go ahead. So, <laughs> would you advertise flat earth to your kids? They're in the next room. They can hear me. Do you, all right. So, do you? Did you hear my? Did you hear my response? Yes. Yeah, so, do you? They can hear me. These people. They can hear me. Dude. If you're going to talk about kids and family and other off-topic issues, no, that's fine. You stay on he's got his you. answer. I'll give you if, one chance. He's got his answer. You, you, they can hear me talking about this stuff. I talk about it regularly around them. Yes. Yeah, I can just hear in his voice in the way that he's questioning that he's going to try and make this some type of issue that it's not off-topic. Do they believe your silly nonsense? Hold on. Let's just see if this guy actually does have a point to get to. I'm are, not going to assume he's going to suddenly are start attacking you? my kids. I, I think are they might kids be smarter than you. Uh, guys, I just want to. That guy might have just been laying a foundation. If that's the case, let's just see if it was the case that he's just trying to lay a foundation with that for a further question, rather than just assuming he's going to attack my kids, which he may not be doing. We don't know yet. Have I been unmuted? Yeah. What? I, I assume you were just laying a foundation with that. Carry on. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you homeschool your kids? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, can we not talk about my kids anymore? Is there a question about the subject of Earth being measured flat that you want to ask? Sure, sure, sure. Um... <laughs> no, that's all I wanted to ask, bro. Love. Sorry, so can I ask you? Can I ask, can I ask you? you a question? Are the kids smarter than you? Can I ask, yeah, can I ask him a question, right? guy? Can I ask you a question? Why are you so interested in my kids in a flat Earth debate server? I'm interested in the. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested. Who's I'm talking to this guy? Somebody's talking to this guy. I can't. Hear, there's two people talking while this guy's trying to talk to me. I want to hear him. Are you talking to me or him? No, someone's I'm interrupting sorry. you in the He's in the server. You, you, you can't be heard. You're being talked through by someone else, and I'm asking the mods to stop that from happening so I can hear you, sir. I want to hear you. I'm asking why are you so interested in what happens to my kids in a flat Earth debate Discord server? I'm asking you that. That wasn't really about the Discord server. I just wanted to know that because obviously flat Earth and globe Earth. I mean, not flat Earth, sphere Earth and globe Earth. It's highly advertised in schools. So I just wanted to see your stance. If you are planning to have kids, it sounds like you do have kids already. These people. And how you'd go about that. So I wanted to know. I was curious. You want to know how I go about educating my kids? Okay, fine. I'll answer that. When it comes to the general education that most kids in the UK would receive, we have a structure from websites that are approved by government that give us the general structure of how to educate our kids. Do we educate my wife and I, our kids, about heliocentrism? Yes. We also disclaim to them that they are not within their right to question other people's beliefs, of which heliocentrism is one. I teach them that it is the accepted religion in the UK, and therefore it is not reasonable for them to start questioning the beliefs of others. Why am I getting talked through while I'm answering this question? I don't know what's going on. It's not reasonable for them to question other people's beliefs. Heliocentrism being one. Hope that's clear. I don't know what heliocentrism is. Helios is a sun god. Helios mm. at the centre would mean sun at centre, as in you're on a ball 
moving around the sun at the centre of that system. Helios, sun, at centre. Like you're on a ball moving around the sun with the sun at the centre. That's the religion that you were taught in school. Being on a ball moving around the sun, that's heliocentric. I mean, I don't believe that sign is God. You don't believe that's what it's called? No, I don't believe that the sign is God in general. That, that's the religion you... I don't, I, I'm not asking you if you believe in it or not. I don't care. It's just what you were taught in school in science classes being true. It's the Copernican model. It's the heliocentric sun at centre, Earth as a ball moving around the sun that you were taught as being real in science class. It's not. The ideas come from measurements of an Earth that's flat to create those mathematics. Not science either. All right, bro. I mean, I don't see it as a religion. Okay, it but... came from the Roman Catholic Church. It factually is from Johannes Kepler and Copernicus. The Roman Catholic Church were in charge of all of the astronomies and all the observations and all the maths. It was done under their guidance. It's the Roman Catholic Church's religion. It's their methodology for better predicting where the stars will be. It's called heliocentrism. It has come from the Roman Catholic Church. It is your religion taught to you in Christian churches in the UK. You went to a Church of England school, didn't you, sir? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, so you were taught this by the church. It's their religion. That You don't have to like that it is a religion. Being on a ball moving around the sun is a religion you were taught in a church-based school in England from the Roman Catholic Church 500 years ago. It is a religion. You don't have to like it. Earth is factually measured flat. That's how Earth's measured. And those measurements are utilised by the church to create the ball that you believed you were on until about 25 seconds ago. So, so can I ask how do you practice the religion? It's your religion, not mine. You practice it by coming here and telling me that you think you're on a ball. Or telling your kids that you believe that they're on a ball too. Telling your kids that they're moving around the sun. That's a religion that you'll teach your kids. I won't teach my kids religious beliefs. I'll teach them the belief as a religion and explain how it works. And then tell them that they're not allowed to prejudice other people for holding that belief about moving around the sun as you hold. That's your belief. You tell me how you so, practice it. So would you prejudice people that believe the earth is a globe? I've just made it clear that I teach my kids not to do that, specifically not to do that. It's your belief. You're entitled to your belief. If you want to believe you're on a ball moving around the sun, you're entitled to that belief that you were taught by the church in the Church of England school you attended. Oh, uh, cool, cool. I remember me, the I, I'm, not, I'm a realist, before. though. To answer your question, no, I, I definitely don't believe Earth's anything. I know it's measured flat. Yeah, yeah. I remember the question I was going to ask before I got muted and I asked about your kids. Um, do, you, do you discuss this topic outside of Discord? Like in real life, maybe like... This is my, yes, absolutely. This, yes, yes, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. It Seriously? consumes my entire day. Yes, absolutely. Like outside of Discord as well. Yes. <laughs> you black in your when ears. people say, how's work, Come on, Nathan? What are we going to go on with this forever? Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. He's allowed to take a time to digest these kinder to him crazy answers. Yes. When someone asks me, how's work going? When my brother or sister asks me, they know specifically what I do for a living. Everybody I know knows what I do. Well, that's not quite true. Some of the homeschool classes I take my kids to don't necessarily know what I do. And I wouldn't want them to. Unless they asked, and then I'll tell them. All right, cool, cool, boss. It's been nice talking to you, man. You too. You, you, you were misjudged. People assumed you were asking, rather than laying a foundation, that you were somehow going to add on my kids. You weren't, and I could detect that. So I'm glad you were very courteous. It was lovely chatting to you too. Love, bro. Just keep in mind that on this server, we do have offer a lot of charity, a charitable uh, understanding of the way someone's approaching the conversation. It, so, I mean, it might seem like, yeah, a lot of anti-flat earthers seem to gravitate towards flat earth spaces. Generally, there's a lot more functionally normal people who are just curious and have like an epistemological, like, or whatever, like a view of the topic. They want to know Hey, how is your world or your 
your day different than mine? And they generally find out it's really not. It's really not that much different than anyone else's. We, flat earthers just don't add in a curve and rotation. Yeah, I, I don't like when they come in and first up and just start asking questions about what you teach your kids based on flat earth, yeah? Nine yeah, times out of ten, you'd, I just want to give props to AJ, right? Nine times out of ten, you'd have been absolutely spot on. I just detected from the way he was saying it that he wasn't going to go where you normally would have had the opponent go if you hadn't stopped them. So I don't, I'm not suggesting that you were doing something wrong. I'm not saying you, I, I know I literally said you called it wrong. I don't mean that by that. 99 times no, out of no, 100, no. you'd have been right there. I'm happy to be I'm wrong, not... yeah. <clears throat> I just wanted to stop it. Me too. That was a lovely stage. surprise. Not bad on that. Yeah, right. You, it's nice to be wrong. Say that. Again, go ahead. Can I say that I didn't know you had kids before I asked the question? Yeah, that's I why. Asked. And that's luckily because of the way you phrased it. That's how I knew you weren't just about to attack my two daughters, because you were you were suggesting it in a way that if you were to have kids, because you were maybe you think I'm younger than I am, but yeah, I could detect that you weren't just about to go to something that you'd prearranged to attack my my personal my kids with. I could tell that that was the case by the way you asked that question. Yes, are you, you just saying asking generally. you could detect? Are you saying that you could detect that he wasn't going in that direction? I've said it enough saying? times of a QE. Thanks a bunch. Yes, he's so subtle. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Ben. She says cheers, Nathan. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Is there any scientific evidence for a globe tart? Ram ranch. What was that, Zenny? Good morning, guys. Hey, chocolate. Hey, chocolate. We're just we're, we're just making greetings here, AJ. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, is there any scientific evidence for a globe tart? What causes globe? What causes globe? Is he asking for scientific evidence of a, of a globe? It's a pretty good answer. I've got to be honest. I had to digest it for a second. Does that make sense? Does that work? Yes, it does. Uh, what's the cause of globe? Yeah, it's a, it's a that's a well phrased way of demonstrating that you know exactly where the category error and, and inconsistency in the question lies. Well done. That was good. I like that a lot. Yes, it was. Very good. Very. What's Who your was name? That? Who said that? You deserve props. Oh. Casey. Casey. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Uh, what the sigma? What they say? I missed it. Can you hear? Can you hear us all smiling? Right, that is the kind of answer. Can you, can you right. Can prove to me why the Earth is flat? Oh, somebody's triggered. Go ahead. Sorry, say again. Yeah. What is beyond the ice wall? What? Who? Who claimed an ice wall? I swear, I swear you flat earthers claim there's an ice wall. Hold on, Kiwi. Just one second. Let's just get some order. Who are we talking to first of all? No, no, no. Yeah, come on, top marking. No, no, there's an that's ice wall. That's okay. Who are we talking and there's to? like, there's like ice. Daytone, we're trying to get some order. Daytone, is that who was talking? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he left as soon as he got muted. He instantly disconnected. Oh, is he just here to cause chaos? Yes. Yeah, I think so. He had a really noisy, a lot of the background noise. So it sounded like hot mic going on, but. I don't remember anybody claiming an ice wall, so I don't really know what he was on about. Maybe we'll find out if he returns. Uh, uh, he was on about a stereotype fallacy. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> so I don't quite know how it's going to be arranged. If you do have a question, I'm sure there's a way of indicating that to the moderating team. Or maybe it's just piping up. In the meantime, shout out to Duncan McLeod. Cognitive dissonance causes globe. <laughs> equally good duncan but just a little bit later than the guy in the discord server as you'd expect as you're paying for it through a super chat excellent stuff rolling in thick and fast cognitive dissonance causes globe love it what was that I got a globe? question about flat earth oh, oh. i got a question about flat earth perfect um why 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 lie about this like what's the point like why? Why would NASA and all these uh, other like uh, professions lie about the Earth being flat? Okay, like being a globe. Like what's gotcha. the point? Gotcha. Why would they lie? Let's just have a little quiz. I'm not. I am going to answer your question, but first, who can name that fallacy? 
Appeal to motive fallacy. Boom! Huey got their first flatsy second. Appeal to motivation fallacy. Yeah. Well, not, I mean, I just don't know why. Like, I mean, you can just call out some fallacies, but like, why, 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 why lie about well, it? That's a, but, you know, pulling out a fallacy, it is a fallacy. Okay, if, yeah, if, if I approach you, let's just logic. put it into context, because you may maybe you don't appreciate what uh, that, that fallacy means. Yeah. If I'm trying to prove to you that you've got a cheating wife, yeah? Right. And I show you pictures of her cheating. Do you ask mm -hmm. me, why would she cheat? Or do you just accept that she's cheating? Which do you do? No. Um, I would uh, accept the fact that she's cheating. So, so her motivation for cheating is irrelevant if we're trying to demonstrate that she's cheating, correct? Yeah, right, right, so, right. So the motivation is irrelevant. Earth's measured flat. Just so we're clear, that's how the well, globe... Yeah, I know, but I'm and I'm answering okay, your question, yeah, but... and there he is immediately chanting through my answer. Yeah, so you've understood your fallacy that you've used. Now you can stop talking. The adults that don't use fallacy are now responding to your question. It's irrelevant and non sequitur. A fallacy. It's irrelevant. Uh, is it just me, or am I getting so hot mic straight through the top of my No, my we, we got him. We got him. Sorry. Go ahead. It took a while to find him. Yeah, of course, because it's painful. Why would they lie? Who cares? We measure Earth flat, and in order to create the globe that you believe in, you will use those flat Earth measurements. Why would they lie? I couldn't care less. Earth's measured flat. <laughs> Wrote a song about it. Okay, I, okay, <laughs> but like, it's, it's still like a genuine question, is it not? Like, no, it's an appeal to motivation fallacy. Can you at least answer my argument. question? Sorry, so no, what, I'm what, I, what, I must what, address what, your fallacious... Why am I getting bloody chanting assholes when I respond to this guy? Okay, I'll try that again, Did hopefully you? without a bunch of white knights. Immediately someone's talking. Immediately. That's why I want to be on a stage, so that 25 assholes can't immediately interrupt me. No, dumbass. Dumb, it's dumb. The guy uh, immediately, the guy talking. A, immediately. Immediately. It's yeah, a moderator Nathan, talking to you, Nathan. The guy you're talking you're to saying. is the one who's hot miking. Thanks. <laughs> I'll give him another chance. May I, may I respond? Shut up. You've appealed to motivation. That's a fallacy. You're now demanding that I address your fallacious reasoning. No, you stupid man. When I point out how fallacious your question is, you can either ask a new question, hopefully acknowledge your stupidity with your fallacious question, not demand a friggin' answer it. That just makes you retarded. I hope you understand that I'm pointing out how stupid it is to demand that I address a fallacious question when I've broken down with an example of your married cheating wife how fallacious it is and why it's fallacious. You now think I must answer it, do you, dumbass? No. Sit down, you're an idiot. <laughs> a question is not fallacious. Is, is that the same answer. idiot? No, that was somebody you're... else. That was loud. I got a question. No, it wasn't me no, still. Was but I do have a Sorry. question. Yeah, yeah. So I just looked up your name on YouTube. Uh, like, is this being recorded? Does your oh does your God. name start with an N? <laughs> wait, wait. Were you the guy that debated D Dave McKeegan? No. Is that a flat Earth question, or is that just you want to you just want to talk about talk to him about life and how it's going? Oh, I just want to know, like, is he famous? <laughs> I think it's Do you have a question about uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. how flat You're it is? Being recorded. He'll make you famous. I have a question about Earth and how it's measured flat. Look up his name on YouTube. Just remove this guy, please. <laughs> you looked up his name. Does it start with an N? Has anybody got any Earth-related questions? Um, Nathan, are you on, um, are you on your um, computer right now? All right, Hugh, you, you're a liar. We don't want to talk to you anymore because you lie constantly. Anybody got any questions about the nature of Earth? Feel free. Oh, 
I was going to answer Lava Girl's question and just say, yeah, you're in the presence of royalty. <laughs> Call me King Nathan. <laughs> royalty. Lava Girl, I would say that Lava Girl is a catfish because I would think that Lava Girl would be a girl, but it's clearly not. That's racist. Thank you. I was just thinking amazing. the same thing. You're amazing. Lots of people just join on their wife's account. That's all that is. Ah, uh, we get it now. Call me Paula. I've seen so many weird right, names. Paul. I just ignore them now. Misrepresentation. Love Taxation you, without misrepresentation. Let's just try that once more. Has anybody got any Earth-related questions, preferably on the subject of either globe belief or flat Earth measurements? That would be ideal. Stay out of it, Paula. My bad. <laughs> 180 well, people watching. We... That will In not other happen. words, Nathan is saying, does anybody have some curve? Any Globers got curve? Because to have a globe, you need some curve. Any, any of you guys yeah, got looking. that? We want to see a demonstration of that drop over distance. Go ahead. I'm saying chocolate. We know they don't have that. <laughs> Were you the flat earther that uh, Flatsy was talking to earlier, right. Killian? Yes, sir. What's happening, Nathan? I just didn't know to correct. You and Flatsy were doing a really wonderful job. So much so that while you were chatting with each other, I was pointing it out to my wife. I'm like, this is not my server. Listen to these guys chatting. I know, I know, obviously, no Flatsy, but literally, I got, I got a, raised eyebrow, uh, a raised eyebrow from my wife as she was listening to you to discussing the stuff at the beginning of the show when I first joined. Because I was, I'm like, should I join in and point out this has got nothing to do with Trig? And then Flatsy said it. Well, I mean, without uh, looking at, no, no, sorry. Understanding trigonometry, flat baselines, sextants, and angles, I was just taking that thinking and extending it further, but so very thankful for the likes of Flat C and, of course, yourself that can keep us on the right track so that we can continue to figure out how celestial navigation continues to uh, reinforce the idea of a flat baseline continuously. Yeah, it's required. It's a prerequisite for the measurement. Part of it. So if you look out our windowsill, we see that uh, the level of our windowsill matches the horizon. And I just keep thinking to myself, the higher I go, go up, no matter the height of that story that I'm, or the height of that building that I'm in, whatever story I'm on, that windowsill continues to match the horizon line. So I'm still looking for the curve. Uh, be careful. Appears to yeah. match. Appears to. It does. You're not wrong. I do you have a horizon on a globe card? Say again, QE. How do you have a horizon on a globe tart? You don't. Ask, um, can you ask the yeah. group, Paula? Okay, don't literally call me. My wife's name is Paula. I'm not on her account. It does say Nathan Oakley 1980 under my name. Although I quite like how being called Paula. How much slope does a zero slope slope if a zero slope could slope dope? Excellent. Right, the slope intercept formula dope. deals with the horizon on a globe, doesn't it? So, Nathan, I'm asking a question here. Maybe you can unpack this a little bit. So, I went to the CN Tower a few years ago. I got in on the ground floor. And as I was going up the side of the CN Tower, they allow you to, like, you could see out the side through a window looking out. So, as we're going up, higher I went up, the further out that horizon line uh, got from me. Could you possibly maybe explain how that would work? Uh, on a curve, or if the it surface wouldn't. in fact was curved, it wouldn't. But the fact is that the horizon oh. itself is formed with the ground, right? It's an optical dissolution point, but it's formed with the surface. It's the point where the ground or sea meets the sky, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we could be right. in a well, hallway. Well, right. as a, as a well, matter of fact, when you rise up, you are rising above the surface. Ergo. The point where the surface appears to meet the sky, that optical dissolution point, is factually below you. Now, if you're navigating, you must account for that if you're using a tool that acquires horizontal 
from the horizon. If you're doing it in a dinghy, then there's no correction. You're right on the surface of the water in that instance. But if you're doing it in an aeroplane, then the horizon is below you, just slightly. Right? The angle does widen as you raise an elevation, which pushes the horizon further out. You can see further with a wider angle. But it doesn't change the fact that the ground is still factually below you. Therefore, that point is below you, just slightly. But it doesn't alter a, a factually true statement that the horizon does appear to rise to eye level. So if we run a hallway as an example, maybe like in a warehouse where we have a, an extremely long hallway, say I decided to lie down in that hallway, so my chin is sitting right on the floor, and I observe the off in the distance where the ceiling of that hallway meets the floor of the hallway, there's a line called the horizon, which we understand it to be. Yep, good example, great and, example. Uh, pardon me? Where you're going is excellent, keep going. Thank you, appreciate it. So then I stand up, right, I gain altitude, and all of a sudden, that line of where the ceiling of the hallway meets the floor uh, gets further out. I can see all of a sudden more doorways, perhaps down that hallway. So effectively, what have I done? I've increased my viewing angle, uh, angular resolution, I think. And wouldn't this also be really criterion uh, showing itself? Yes, to, to a degree. Uh, I mean, you might not in a hallway have a, an op a, a point of uh, uh, diffraction. You might not necessarily invoke the Rayleigh criterion, therefore, but your example still sounds perfectly in line with what I'm describing. As you lie on the floor with your eyes as close as you can get them to the floor, you will potentially form a horizon that would take into account the Rayleigh criterion. That is to say, your angle could be so limited that you force the horizon to be much, 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 much closer because of the limited angle. Ergo, when you stand up, that point, the ground that was right next to your eyeballs when you were lying down is below you. And therefore, with the wider angle, yes, you can see further. You've pushed that point further out. And yes, it will still appear to be parallel with you. But it isn't. The ground is below you, and that is what's forming that point in the distance in the hallway. And that's the same with the horizon. As you're lying on the ground looking at the horizon, you have a very limited angle to the horizon. As you widen the angle, it appears that that's getting higher. It isn't. You're widening your view. As you raise an elevation, the ground's still below you. Therefore, there is something known as dip. And when you use the horizon to establish a horizontal with a sextant, you will utilise the measurement you first took at port, which is how high are you when you make this measurement above the surface of the sea. Well, you just mentioned sextant and then an elevation plane. Is that or is that where a, a bubble sextant would come into play? No. So a bubble sextant eradicates the need to do dip correction because you're establishing a horizontal plane with the bubble. The only reason that functions is because once you establish a horizontal plane with the bubble, any angle measurement will be parallel with the ground. Ergo, the point that you're measuring, be it a GP or your eventual fix for your location, will be parallel with a flat plane below the horizontal plane you establish with the bubble. Earth so must be flat for that to work, in other words. So just right quick, and I'll withdraw after this flat C. So just to be safe or clear here, when I'm on an elevated uh, viewing plane, I would then use that bubble section to correct for that elevated plane no. that I'm standing. No. Oh. If, you, if, if you're up... If you're up in a, an elevated situation, what you need to correct for dip, that's how low the horizon is versus your position, is your height. You need your elevation from sea level to make that correction. If you don't have it, you can't make it. Now, it's not that you use a bubble to make the correction. When you use a bubble sextant, you don't need to make any correction because you've already established a horizontal plane of reference with the bubble. Then when you measure an angle, let's say you're measuring an angle in an aeroplane, and you horizontal plane is established with the bubble, the angle to the star is established with the tool. You then say mark, you then get the time, you write down the angle, you look it up in the almanac, right? Once you find the GP and distance to it, minus from 90 times by 60, that point in the distance, the GP point below the star you just measured, is below or above the plane that you are trying to navigate because the plane you established 
sorry, the horizontal plane of reference you establish with the bubble is parallel with the ground. So there's no correction required. The point that you measure in space, that you measured with the bubble as the horizontal line, will have its GP in that instance directly above the exact same point on the ground because all horizontals are parallel with the plane of the surface of Earth. Thank you for the explanation and correction. It is not, it's not simple stuff. It's simple when you know how, but it isn't if you don't. And I can only concisely summarise it thanks to 18 months of 10th man dripping this information into me. But excellent questions, excellent examples, your hall especially. But the horizon can drops. Can I ask my question again? Yeah, feel free. Well, uh, you never really answered my question. I mean, why lie about the shape of the Earth? Like, why would they lie about it? Well, because it's fallacious. Yeah, why, why would your wife cheat? Who cares? You're getting divorced. She's cheating oh, on sure. you. She's got another man inside her. Does it matter why? Are you projecting? Um, no. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> no, it's so just a, it's a hypothetical. It it's a hy marriage. No, it's a hypothetical example of an appeal to motivation fallacy. Right, but like I think it's a fair question because I mean the main question is like why are they all doing this? I don't like, know. You okay, can ponder that. That's 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 okay, that's I that's understand. That's it's the third time you've asked the same question, regardless of the response you've had. Yeah, it doesn't matter to you that it's a fallacious question. You, sir, can ponder that all you like. That's for you to ponder. It won't really serve any interest. If you were in a hypothetical divorce court, it wouldn't matter why she did it. You'd still be getting divorced. So who cares? I mean, at, at the end of the day, what you're asking is, why do liars lie? Yeah. I mean, why, why would you come to us for that? First of all, maybe you should go to the people that are lying. I wouldn't suggest that either. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cuck behavior. That's like going to the wife that's been caught cheating. Why did you cheat? Hey, man. Hey, man. Why did you do hey, it to me? Fits. Why did you do it? You know what liars and cheaters do when they get caught out cheating and lying? They lie and cheat some more. So if you ask them at the liar why they did it, there's a good chance they'll just lie again. But cucks and idiots yeah. go to the liars and start yeah. questioning their motivations, <laughs> regardless of how fallacious it is. Yeah, Nathan, if I can ask this gentleman a question, if you have the evidence, right, you know hook, line, and sinker, whether it's uh, maybe a video or a picture, or you have the evidence, do you really still have to ask the motivation as to why? Really, brother? I mean, that's, uh, this is the person that asked the question. Don't go quiet now. Don't run away. We're asking you. Oh, well, I'm oh okay, okay. I'm on mute. What was the question? Sorry. What was the question you again? Had the evidence, the photo, the video in your hands of the crime being committed, the, the person murdering, or cheating, whatever. You're telling me that you still, from your from your place, your understanding, that you still want to understand the motivation as to the crime taking place. Is this correct? Yeah. I would, if, 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 I had, if I had a wife, I'd want to know why she cheated on me. Um, this is a very oh, fair okay. question. No, no, that's right. fine. Okay, okay, thank you yeah. for your answer. Well, that's wonderful. The fact that she actually did cheat because you have the evidence in your hand, you viewed her doing it. Oh, no, that helped me understand so I could, you know, probably not get cheated on in the future. No, it doesn't negate it's the fact good that... good to understand people's mo doesn't negate the fact that you have the evidence that she did it. Well, we have the evidence that the Earth is flat. It doesn't matter their motivations. You're only assuming why they could be lying to us, yeah? It's only based off an assumption. Right, okay. no, none of us can tell you why a liar would lie. We can't look into... Okay, well, well, let's like just it. take what you're saying as fact. Okay, I admit I the earth is flat, okay, but... I, I can tell you. Can I... I'm not allowed to ask why? One of my panel no, wants to offer you. an answer. Hold on just one second. Is it Sunny? Danny. Um, yeah, Brian wants to give you an answer. Feel free, Brian. Go ahead. Yeah, the reason they lie to you is because they know people like you will believe them. It's that simple. <laughs> You're the problem. Right. Yeah. So there's your answer. Your answer is you. Thanks. Yeah, and your wife well, knew she could get but away there's, with there's it. There's no money. But it seems like they're spending a lot of money. Uh, they're spending all this money just so they can like, pull one over us and like laugh at us. Ha -ha. Is there any money or financial incentive no, you've, that they're spending this that. much money? No, sorry, is that your claim now? So oh, I mean, it takes you... money to... I heard your question. I heard you. I don't need you to shout through the top of me with a repetition of the same frigging thing. 
We heard. Yeah, they spend a lot of money. That's absolutely fascinating. But you inserted a motivation of your own to laugh at us, you said. So do you have evidence that they've, they've lied to us about the shape of Earth to laugh at us? Have you got evidence of that? That becomes your claim. Because we didn't say that, you did. So do you have evidence of their motive? Which crystal ball did you look in to get that information? The same one that, um, the same crystal ball I looked in to find out that you are a cock. To find out that your wife's cheating <laughs> on you. She's not. Uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's the Bye now. in fallacy. Yeah, we're pointing out your appeal to motivation fallacy and you're suggesting that my hypothetical example means my wife is cheating on me. No, I'm happily married. She's currently schooling my kids in the next room. No, she's not cheating on me. Regardless, in that hypothetical scenario, the reality is that that ends in divorce. It doesn't matter the motivation. And if you appeal to the cheating wife for a motivation, there's a good chance she'll lie to you. That's the point. But people who are cucks... They grovel at the feet of the cheating wife, don't they? Rather than getting the divorce. Because they don't want the divorce. So they appeal to the motivation. Me, I'd be in a courtroom if my wife were to do that to me. I love her dearly. She loves me dearly. She's brought two children to me. She's educating them in the next room. It's just hypothetical, mate. But if you want to turn that into an ad hom, you feel free. It's kind of pathetic. Yeah, but, I mean, he said it himself, right? He would go to the wife because he would want to understand why he was lied to. So he wants understanding from the same people that lied to him. That some people, that's what they want. Let them go get it. Yeah, go and go appeal to them. Wife. Exactly. <laughs> go ask them. That ain't our problem. Go ask them so they can lie to you some more and we can laugh at you. Well, is, he going, is he really going to go to the liars and ask them why they lied? Oh, I wonder what will happen there. Also, he is said it, because they spend it, a lot of money. Is it, uh, was it their personal money that they're spending? No. By the way, that's our money. Well, I was just about to ask: Isn't NASA making uh, cash to a tune of eighty million a day or something to that effect? To show you cartoons of a magical spinning water ball flying around in a vacuum. It's terrible. So they're using extorted money to lie to you. Way to point that out. Good job. Thanks, Thanks, by the way. Shout out to the flat out, flat out truth. It says the earth is measured flat. Motivation is Narnia. Fair enough. Also, shout out to Rob McKenzie for the super sticker. He says, hey, you. With a little dancing. Looks like a pear. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, is there any scientific evidence for a globe tart? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to get this answer correct. My fingers Somebody are crossed. Dead early. We've got, we've got five just... more minutes. Oh, we've actually run over the hour, so it, it, we'll take one more question if there is somebody that wants to have a question that's actually a question. Five more minutes. Oh, I'm adding five more minutes. We've already gone past the hour. When is that of the date, Darren? When we get a question about the nature of Earth as opposed to about our kids. I thought this was about homeschooling and divorce court. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nice one, Brian. Come on, there's got to be an Earth-related question before we round out this live stream. Come on. Hey, hey, Baltards, how's that do seven off suit working out for you? Go ahead and lay her, just, just lay her down. We're going to make you lay it down, okay? Down. I've, I've decided I'm not playing the game. I'm going to stand up from the table and walk off with my cards. <laughs> do a three-star fix on a flat Earth. One more, one more time. Two or three star fix on a flat earth. Two or three star fix on a flat earth. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's what they do. Thanks. Thanks. Can you can do it? It's Darth's fart. <laughs> Two <laughs> or three star fix on a flat earth. Yeah, that's correct. Thanks. See how simple that is? Anything else? That wasn't really a question. It was a statement of fact. Yes, you can acquire a two or three star fix on a flat earth. That's right. No, he said... Can do he said, can you do it? Uh, yes. Yes. We can. <laughs> if need be. <laughs> I haven't done it. Oh, that's it. You're disqualified. 
Well, shouldn't, shouldn't your question have been, could, could you do a three-star fix on the globe? No, you can't, ele you can't acquire an elevation angle off a curved surface. Duncan okay. McLeod. Oh, I'm going to hand over to Brian. Duncan McLeod says, end with pitch data, Nathan. Never better word spoken than prior a super chat. Brian, do you want to do the honours? About what? What do you want me to say? Say Earth's flat, pitch data proves it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Earth is absolutely flat, proven by pitch data. Official NTSB pi uh, air uh, airline pitch data proves the Earth is flat. As, it, as we knew, it always would. And we already knew it was flat, but this is irrefutable proof. Can't be beaten. Unstoppable, flawless victory. It's over. Can somebody, can somebody post it in the wherever we're at? In yeah, their politics. Chat. We're in politics Discord server. It's on screen for my audience now. This is pitch data. So this was acquired from uh, an airline disaster. I don't know if you call it a disaster. A fault with an airplane, an engine blowout in midair, and they had to land as an emergency. Nobody got injured or died or anything. It was just there. Uh, Nobody died. Uh, one Nobody one got of the hurt. engines failed. Nothing to see here. Yeah. That's why it's been used. I'm yeah, so it's not a check. disaster. Okay, yeah, that's why I clar Well, okay. Yeah, disaster would be a major incident. Disaster for <laughs> well, it's just, imagine, imagine you're the pilot and you suddenly get your yoke shaking crazily and violent vibrations in the plane and you think you're going to die. At that moment... Don't you ever appeal to my yoke. Uh, 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 at that moment, you can imagine, just, just for hypothetical scenarios, just to make what I said make sense, the, the pilot going, oh my God, this is disastrous. But then it all turned out well in the end. Show us the curve in the pitch data. There's no curve in the pitch data. Uh, That's uh, perfect timing. What Brian has done in this image, so I'm going to bring up a different image, right? This is a s zooming in on the pitch data. And then below it, Brian's got two lines that he's drawn. One is a flat line that references zero. The other is a curved line that references a globe. Which one matches the distance? He's also got the difference in distance. You can just see it at the end of the picture. Oh, no, you can't. My... Oh, let's just make this a tiny bit smaller. No, you can't because I have it back to front because I have to reverse the bottom image to make it go left to right like the pitch data because the pitch data is going from left to right. Ah, fair enough. But in either event, pitch data showing the nose above the horizontal plane of reference for two hours of flight. Perfect. Absolutely ideal. This is a flat earth proof. There is no getting around it with a globe. It's game over. Yeah, the straight line at the bottom, the horizontal line at the bottom, uh, matches the pitch data. That means did, that's what the plane is doing. Do they have it in politics server? Can somebody post it in there? Yeah, we've got it here. Where do you want it, Master B? No, no, no. We've already got it up on the screen for the audience. We just want your uh, Discord participants to have uh, access to this data. So it's on screen for my audience. Hopefully it's yeah. posted in the Discord politics server for them to peruse. Just how flat Earth is, reference to horizontal, nose up, no dip, not moving around a curve. Earth is flat. Any last words before we round out? Yes, people to say that something? is, yes, uh, yes, there are last words. Um, the, clarifying, not that, I don't know, we don't want the link. You could put the link to the article in there, but we want them to see the actual graph from the flight recorder. Yeah, as yeah I it's the PDF that they should the cash the pdf yeah as i had on screen yeah as i had on screen for my large audience for but i'm going to round out i'm really sorry to talk over the moderators in discord but with that i'm going to say if you are watching this on either nathan oakley 1980 or nathan oakley premiering streams then stay tuned as there will be an after show to follow uh he took the data from this but like this one of those like flight trackers uh i forgot which one it was specifically but, you know, usually they have, like, the bird's eye view. They show all the planes flying across the United States from above. Well, there's a setting in this flight tracking software where it takes that same data, but it gives you the side view. Like, if you're looking at it, you know, from the ground. And it clearly demonstrates the planes go up, they go horizontal, they go down using the data. And this came out, like, a year ago. But, like, nobody really, like, was like, oh, check it out, you know, like, the, because it's not like this data that, like, Brian's got with, 
it's showing like, okay, there's no change in pitch. And like, you can see it, like it's data, but take that data and put it in this software. You'll see that every flight across the United States, it's, that's, that's, that's what's showing. That's what's being represented. But it's crazy that it never got like, it never caught wind or never caught fire and like spread around like the way this is like di- like demonstrably like dude obviously yeah i guess it's because it's data not just a visual no 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 it, no there's there's a controlled opposition narrative that's put in front of flat earthers instead isn't there why aren't we talking about elevation angles why aren't we talking about charts and maps being made with those elevation angles why aren't we talking about earth being measured flat why aren't we talking about pitch data referencing a horizontal plane we're not because we're talking about domes and ice walls okay. and Jaron's experiment that's what we're supposed to talk about. Not this. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, so by the way, when I put this well, video uh, up on on, tic, on TikTok, I'm at a year ago, within sorry, two minutes, I'm at you're, you're being rumpus by QE Apocrython. I'm really sorry. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. I'm at a loss. Jaren's experiment. What are yes. you talking about? Firing lasers across, across a lake through little boards with holes in quote it's unquote an experiment. experiment. Very interesting. End quote. Uh, uh, that's not an experiment. No, I what, know it's what? not. But that's what we should be talking about instead of Earth being measured flat. That's what they who want said? us to talk about. Who's they? They, whoever put it out on Netflix. They, whoever put it out on Flat Earth Society websites. They who promote the antithesis of what we should be talking about in anti-Flat Earth rhetoric. They being anybody talking about this subject that doesn't cover Earth measurements and says so uh, or professes to talk about Flat Earth when they don't. They talk about the globe. They talk about ice walls. They talk about 74,000 mile uh, circumference walls around our perimeter. This kind of crap is the crap that's fed into our community to talk about. Random much? You mean tour workers? Look, do do you mind? I'm trying to non sequitur away from QE's question about who and talk about lots of things that aren't that to make it seem like I've answered him. Do you mind? (laughs) Doing a great job, too. Are you a trophy? Right, You're not st- a trophy. Let me just make a quick announcement. We're <laughs> going to stay in politics server for about 10 more minutes. So if anybody does want our particular attention for something, we oh, typically... Wait a second. What's yes. that the proceedings right now? Yeah, You're we've been fired. In two hours is how long we will be staying so that we don't wear out the mods and they are keen to keep people as they did during that live show well and truly wait under control. Let's ask the mods. I was I, just going to say that. I've ask decided. I'm saying... Mods, pipe up. Are you tired? It's not the point. We're guests, and as polite hosts, they'll say, oh, you're welcome to stay indefinitely, or whatever they would as polite guests, uh, hosts. But as polite guests, I'm going to say we're going to stay for about another eight minutes. You've chewed up two of it with this discussion. <laughs> as a producer, as a producer, I find this very, very, very wrong. The one time you stood for 10 hours, that was only one time. Jesus. I want to hear from the moderator. I want to hear the moderator. Is asking for another uh, question, Nathan. It, it's up like... to you. You feel free if you want to oh, off mute. Did well, he put a we'll time limit on the question? <laughs> we'll see how he goes. Right, a huge ass. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, Nathan, do you have your computer with you? No, I'm running the show telepathically. Um, oh, you, man. Have the, you have the I, VC on a you have the VC on a screen, right? I just got your name. Your name is a very funny, like huge ass, and it's you know. I just got it. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Blatty. Um So uh, if I so before you leave, so I just wanted to show you something. If I could share my screen, is that fine? Would you show that? Just want to ask about that. Post it in Discord and someone will stick it in Skype for me and I'll have a look at it. Um, okay. So I um so this guy basically he captured Hang on, the just drop the link man. for me. Huge ass. Just drop yeah, the link I'll, and I'll drop it across. I'll send it. Um and I'll also send a timestamp, right? So uh this is the video. The timestamp is two minutes and twenty-eight seconds. Right, so this guy, he recorded a video of sunrise on Mount Everest. Right, 
And what happens on Mount Everest is the shadow moves the uh, the mount the mountain is completely uh, under oh, a shadow, God. which then moves down to illuminate the. Uh, Everyone, mountain, shut up! Right. Everyone who's not you, please so, mute. You, so what's happening? So what's happening in the video is a smaller mountain is uh, casting a shadow on uh, Mount Everest, right? So what's uh, so I'm just gonna send these um, three photos on the side chat so you guys can understand what I'm saying. So look, um, the first yeah. photo is what happens on a completely flat Earth, right? Throughout the day, uh, Mount Everest will be partly illuminated, right? Now to explain what happens in the video, uh, this would have to happen on flat Earth. Um, just let me send this photo. Uh, to explain what happened, 20, 2015 called the video, this would, this would be where the sun would have to be, and this is the explanation on the bluebirds. Just let me send this last photo in yeah. the side chat. It's not an explanation. It's 2015 train wreck brought to you by Mr. Insensible Moron. So we're going to train wreck you, okay, Mr. Do7? Right. Uh, so this third photo is for. the explanation. So is it just me or is Hugh um, still talking? Is it just me or have we heard what Hugh had to offer and um, he's still talking? Response. We're going to yeah, train wreck you. No, uh, I, so that's a I, preface. I that's a preface to us wrecking you and you're carrying on talking. What we'd like you to do now, Hugh, is shut up and listen. Is that possible? Or should we just end the conversation now with you in defeat? Okay. Uh, no, I was talking because I wasn't on talking. We, we heard now. you. Is there anything in addition to what you have said that you need to add? Go ahead. Uh, right. So the last photo that I posted is what happens on the globe earth, which explains. We already heard that. That's not additional. I heard that, you stupid idiot. So you're dumb. You think we're deaf. We're not deaf. I heard you. Is there any... I'll slow down because he's stupid. Is there anything Nothing in else. addition... To Nothing what else. you have, Nothing is it else. just me or is he Nothing still else. talking through me? Is he still chanting through me so he puts some distance between his shit claim that we're about to take a giant steaming dump on? He's going to yammer through everything QE says. So I'm establishing if he's actually got anything to add. He's repeated something and I'm calling him a moron. We heard you, moron. Now I'm asking again for a third time. Is there anything in addition that you need to add before we take a giant shit? on your 2015 garbage, or are you going to shut the fuck up and listen to QE in response? Which is it? Something in addition, or shut up and listen? Which is it? To answer, to answer your question, which I did five times already, nothing else. Now, now then shut up! Bitch. Close your fucking mic and shut up. Go ahead, QE. What's the claim? The claim is there is a model claim of a globe that explains a shorter shadow from Everest's vantage point. He's then juxtaposed it with what he says in a separate image is not going to happen on a flat Earth. That's not coherent. So the top oh. image that he's posted in Master B is what he claims would happen on a flat Earth. Second is uh, what he believes what would occur on a globe. And then the third is what he's stating happens in reality on the globe. Uh, what height is so the sun at, please? And what is the sun? We'd, I need to know those two things. The question you got from Brian Hugh, what is the sun? What is its height? Um, answer my observation, bitch. Don't dodge. That's not, a, that's not your observation, so, 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 bitch. So, sorry, sorry. Do you, the retard, <laughs> think this is an observation? This is a cartoon. Do you, the retard, think this is an observation? Explain this is also it. a cartoon. Explain is it just me or is some asshole chanting through me as we point out that I am not going to explain any observations because he hasn't given me any? What a retard! Do you think that this cartoon is an observation? You unbelievable clown! You think you're going to tell me I'm a bitch because I'm not answering your observation? It isn't, you stupid idiot! It doesn't matter if it is or was. It was. He still has to give a hoist to the sun. I and sent tell you. Us what the sun I, is. 
Oh, get triggered. Get triggered. Call him a bitch again instead of answering his question about your diagrams. Honest, you seem triggered, man. Diagrams. We're being asked a question, are we not, Hugh? Is it just answer my question, bitch? Oh, we need some clarity about the position that you put to us with diagrams. Brian's asking about the height of the sun. It seems to have a particular position in your diagram. It's touching the horizon. In fact, it's overlapping it. Very weird. So we need clarity about your shit diagrams that aren't observations. You're not going to give them us. You're just going to call us a bitch. Video. You explain the video, bitch. I sent a video with a timestamp. You bitch. Oh, I didn't get a video. But the video has nothing to do with anything. It's that if the video or if the diagram this, matches this the video, denied. it doesn't matter. One second. Leave me a second. angry at the you. He's getting annihilated. Yeah, if the diagrams match the video, that doesn't change anything. You still have to tell us what the sun is, that means give us its composition and what it is, and tell us what height it is. Otherwise, your whole straw man is out the window. You know, there's more than that. There's way more than that I could add to that. That's only the tip of the iceberg, but that would be the first two things you'd have to do. How does that observation make sense on a flat earth, dude? And Nathan is not answering. You are answering, so I get to talk you, to you now. You tell me what the height the sun is at and what its comp composition is. That would be the first two things you'd have to know. Because I have no idea what height the sun is or what composition it is. I have no idea. The celestial bodies don't allow us to know those things. Um, all, all that matters, all that matters is that you think the sun's small and local. You think the sun's small and local? He didn't say that. He asked you. I asked you. You're not able to I don't think the sun's small and local. I, right, window, I'll right? tell you my position. I think that the sun... Go on. I mean, away, I mean, on the rays are parallel, like in the third photo I said. Sorry, what's the size and distance? No, just give us the, the, the hoist in, and its composition. I didn't ask for its hoist. Explain the observation. Stop dodging. This is called... Very good. He's having to be muted by the server operators because he's not having a coherent conversation back and forth. He's just chanting at us. They're <laughs> calling us he bitches. He wants answers. Right, we're almost he done. Wants we all want answers for the answer. observations just give him one last that he time. drew that aren't observation. He's being asked about the observation. What's the height of the sun, according to the observation? Huge sounds like he's getting emotional. Very I'm emotional. Speed up. Okay. All right, Hugh. Earth's measured flat. You know, again, what's crazy is like he wants to show a two minute and twenty eight uh, sorry, a two minute and twenty eight second video about what he's observing the sun does. But again, if we look at your windowsill, your windowsill is still level. So why are you looking past that to try to look up at the sky in order to prove the profile of the ground? He's looking at a shadow and claiming that the shadow in an orthographic view would do something. These diagrams are orthographic. But, like, sky <laughs> stuff doesn't equal ground. Why does this keep happening? I'm so confused. I'm sorry. Well, he's too emotional to have a back and forth about what the sun is and what it's doing, according to him, in his false dichotomy. Oh, I know. He will have a height to, look... to, oh, to the mountain above sea level, though. Well, he's looking up towards the sun in order to hold back the tears. That's probably why. We're going to disappear shortly. So I don't know if the server moderators can yeah. take Hugh off mute and if everyone just give him a yeah, bit of space. Yeah, I'm going to give him one more chance, yeah. Hugh, you, you got Hugh, one more you chance? Us, can you give us some historic data for the observation, please, Hugh? For example, how high are we and how high is the sun? Uh, um, how is the sun, how high is the sun? Ninety-two million meters by uh, away. How high is the person in the uh, video? I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know the specifics. All you can see in the video is that Mount Everest. That's what the focus of the video is on. The tallest mountain has a shadow on it that oh. goes down. Okay, we right? got that. So it's smaller so, mountain. Hugh, the sun is ninety-three million miles high. Is what you're saying. Is that what you said? Yes, he did. Okay. Yes. How and it's huge. Who that, that how Hold on measure? a second, Hugh. Hugh, you were asked a question about its height. You've told us 93 million miles. Thank you. Now Brian's going to continue. Hopefully you can calm down a little bit and just have a back and forth without getting triggered. Okay, Hugh, who measured the 93 million mile height and how was it measured, please? Thank you. Um, I don't know why I'm getting questioned. This was uh, Nathan Oakley. I present to him. Because it's your claim. Clarify, You're bringing in these diagrams with a son on it. And we're asking you questions about your claim. So don't get angry at us. I mean, that's what you have to expect. 
did you Look, not want... just tell me what's happening in the video dude so did you not want to answer any questions about your claim that you're making about it being such a way on orthographic representation of the globe you don't you don't want to answer any questions about your claim you just want to slap it down on the table and walk away without it being uh, questioned right um nope explain the observation yeah so we, we just explain need some uh, just explained and now you're talking still yeah we got that you want us to explain the observation but in order to do so we need some measurements of stuff don't we if we're going to start explaining things we need to start looking at them in detail now it's your claim so we'd like to know the height You've said 96 million miles. Now you've been asked, the how did you... Of... Is it just me or am I getting talked through? I'm clarifying Brian's question. You've given him an answer. Now we want to know how you acquired that number. If you can't tell us, we'll tell you. I I read it in my science book. Oh, so you don't know where they derive 93 million miles from, or 96 million miles, as you said. Uh, I don't know. You don't? Can you explain the observation? Right, but we'd need to know how high the sun was, wouldn't we? Don't don't you know that? No, well, I know, I know where you got ninety three million Kepler. miles. You got it from Kepler and Hugens. It's a scale value taken by an assumption that Christopher Hugens made when he looked at Venus and arbitrarily decided that it would be the same radial value as Earth as a sphere, and Earth as a sphere is a derived radial value from angle measurements to Polaris. So Earth as a sphere has a flat Earth angle measurement to get the R value, and the 93 million mile distance to the sun is an extrapolation of a scale taken from Kepler when Hugens infers that Venus has the same spherical R value derived from a flat plane for Earth. So your 96 million miles um, is... Why am I getting talked through? You didn't know. You got it from a textbook, and I'm telling you where its origins lie. They lie in flat Earth angle measurements to the stars. That's where that distance that Kepler inferred from a scale, sorry, Hugens inferred from a scale system that Kepler invented, taking its measurements from flat plane angles. That's where you got that distance. Yeah, you remember. Right. You, you remember right. I told you Hold on, you Flatsy. That... Hold on. Right. Oh, sorry. So Earth is measured flat for that distance. Um, I'm going to ask now for the fifth time. Sorry, part Can of you your example, I, I, I don't need any question. I need you to actually concede what you've just had put to you. You were asked about the height in your example. The height comes from a flat earth measurement. Can you acknowledge that, please? I well, acknowledge, I concede. Can you explain the video? Sorry, the part of the, the claim... The video means nothing. Yeah. Go ahead, Brian. I'm just saying, the video means nothing without all the... Without all the uh, acquired data. If we don't know the height of the sun or its composition, and and its composition, just to start off with, we can't make any deliberations. I can't say anything about the video because I don't know what the sun is, what height it is, how it does what what it does. So how can I give an explanation to the video? But we can't. Okay, so you don't have an explanation. But we, we can't. This is a tactic. But we can take his basis of his claim, which had a height to infer the historic data, 96 million miles would be the measurement that came from a flat Earth. I don't think we got an acknowledgement to that. We got a new question. Oh, no, I consider to all of that. Okay, I just well, do to explain to me excellent. what's happening. Thank, thank, thank you, like I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you acknowledge Earth is measured flat for your distance to the sun when you reify a sphere that you are not standing on because we are measuring Earth flat for the angles to make that distance inference. Welcome to Flat Earth. If you appreciate yep. that that distance came from yep. Flat Earth I measurements, flat Earth, it doesn't mean I need you to ramble video. through me. It just means I need to make my conclusion based on your standard of evidence in orthographic view when you ask us about what the sun's doing. When you start giving historic data for your side of this claim, it uses Flat Earth measurements. Excellent. Welcome to Flat Earth. Earth would be measured flat for your distance inference. It's been wonderful being Snaps here, by the way, the Mods. Explain what's happening in the video. Sorry, we don't need to. It's your claim. When you attempted to, you used a flat Earth measurement. It's not our claim. That's a burden of proof reversal fallacy. Your claim used flat Earth measurements, though, when you attempted to it. You called us bitches, too, when we were asking you to qualify what your claim involved. It involved flat Earth measurements, third time's a charm. You're not going to flip the burden 
when you attempted to explain your claim, you used a flat earth to do it. Hope that's clear. I just want to thank the mods for having us. It's been an absolutely wonderful time. Hopefully we'll be in a proper room next time. But in this regard, thank you. It's been excellent. You've been on, really on the ball. Mods of Discord. No problems. I'll let you oh. know on Skype what's happening throughout the week, Nathan. Wicked. And obviously yep, all of the participants guys, well in Discord in politics. We're a guest here and we're very thank you that you've given us uh, your ear and asked all your questions. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you, Nathan. Oh, thank wonderful. you for coming. Take care, Nathan. Appreciate that. See you thank again next you, week. Nathan. Thank you, Nathan, for showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. But with that, I'm going to say another huge, massive, enormous thank you to both Discord and G Plus panels for making today's after show possible. And of course, a massive thank you to all of you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, joining as a Nathan Oakley 1980 channel member and all that good stuff. I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you all in the next video.